What's going on? Welcome back to Potty on the Rocks, the number one shit talking podcast in the world. In the world. Fresh off um, the biggest weekend of our lives, back to the grind, back to reality yep. for episode 44. Um, I was going to say the title, but I forget we don't do the titles last the episode. My bad. Um, <laughs> it's going to be a great episode. As Connor mentioned, um, yeah, we had a pretty big weekend. Yeah. It was the grand, uh, grand finals. Was the grand final potty on the rocks party. Yeah. On the yeah. Sunday. Um, Saturday, we did hit up. The Sharks Club. Yeah, that was amazing. That grand final was fucking... I'm not an AFL fan. I don't even bet on AFL. But, like, that was a fucking good game to watch. Bro, Brizzy did... Tried so hard. Yeah. Fought so well. But no truckies in the end of the day. Yeah. Like, I, I don't really have a team. Like, if I had to support a team, my team is Melbourne Demons. Yeah. Um, Why I, Demons? Only because I... There was, like, a year I went for them. Yeah, okay. And they didn't win. Yeah, uh, the year after they won, <laughs> but like I was like a, I was legit a casual fan. I was like, oh, I know Clayton Oliver. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's it. Fair. Yeah, and I was like, um, yes, Demons won the final. Yes, yeah, that's the boys. Like yeah. it wasn't like Just a, share on your Facebook story. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'm a Demons fan. I've been Demons fan for ages. Yeah, since when? Since fucking the semifinals, bro. <laughs> but yeah, um, since they're paying a dollar sixty to win. <laughs> but because I'm from the Gold Coast, Gold Coast is pretty close to Brisbane. Even though it's a Gold Coast team. I want, same as the Titans. Yeah. <laughs> it's like no one goes to the Titans. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I wanted Brisbane Lions to win. Apparently everyone just hates Collingwood. Yeah, I'm yeah. So Besides so Collingwood fans, it's just like not a club everyone likes. Yeah. So, um, but watching that game and it was just so close. It was such a good game, man. Such a good game. Both both footy games of the weekend were fucking amazing. Yeah. But then should we, we'll move on to Sunday then. Yeah, we'll move to Sunday. So Sunday was the... It started off actually the uh, uh, the Pony on the Rocks party. Yeah, it was. The, um, we started chill, chill nice day with bowls, lawn bowls, yeah, barefoot lawn bowls. Lawn bowls. Yep. Um, getting amongst it, getting to know some of our, our close friends. Yeah. Um, having a palm or a snitty. Also, seven dollar schooners. So oh. violence erupted, and they had um, Brookvale Union lemon lime and bitters on yeah. tap, and that shit was fucking. What were they worth? Nine bucks. Fuck, that's actually really cheap too. Yeah. I don't know how cheap they Scoobies. were. Scooies. Yeah, fuck. It was a good day on it. Um, yep. Got to literally highly recommend that club pub. Good yeah. food. Food was a little bit pricey, but drinks are super cheap, which is yeah. a weird in between. Yeah, Palmy was 30 bucks. Yeah. but Big, was big fucking... Dude, see how big mine was? No, I didn't eat any food Kay. until we came back. No here. wonder you fucking died. Well, well spoilers. Yeah. Um, dude, my Palmy was like three chickens melted together. Like oh. It was fucking huge. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Yeah, it was worth the price. Um, yeah. Plus free gravy as well. Yeah. It was 20, oh. No, it was 25 bucks for a snitty, heaps of chips, salad. Salad was good too. It was like a nice slaw. But yeah. good feed. We're not here to fucking critique the food though. No. Um, bowls went really well. Can't tell you who won. I probably played a round of two games. Yeah. I was too busy chatting, buying drinks, getting more drinks, putting my shoes on and off. Yeah. Trying to piss without getting like my bare feet on the floor. That's the worst <laughs> part about it. They make you take your shoes off. And when you go to the toilet, you don't really think about it until you're there. Yeah. Until you're about to walk into the urinal and it's just wet. Yeah. Oh. So if you've got socks on too. Oh, dude, no. Nah, you got to throw your socks out. They're covered in piss. Yeah. Um, well, I'll say that, yeah, I, I did notice that everyone sort of gave up on the bowls. Yeah. Like, you know, people were just still chucking it, but they weren't really playing. It was more just catching up, having a fun day on the green. But there was one group that were playing, and that was my group. <laughs> so Todd, uh, Todd, Toey, myself, Jack and Cooper, right? Yep. Jack and Cooper, um, Cooper's dad is an actual, like, he plays for New South Wales for Fucking the bowls. Man. He's actually really good, apparently. So, I don't know exactly where he lives, but, like... Just dox him. Wherever he lives, he has to travel, like, two hours because there's no competition where he lives. He needs to travel two hours so he can play someone with a bit of competition. Fucking hell. For lawn bowls, yeah. And, um, like, he plays, like, I think he's... He might have played nationals. I could be wrong. Yep. But, yeah. And Jack is a greenskeeper on a... <laughs> we didn't know this before he came. I was like, for fuck's sake. Well, I, I knew I it. didn't know. I was like, for fuck's sake, can't. Like. But, yeah. Um, and 
it was obviously unfair if they were on a team. So we yeah. just went, me and my brother Cooper versus Jack and Toey. And, like, obviously I'm learning on the fly, really. Yeah. I'm, I'm bowling. You know, I'm doing this thing what they call wrong bias, which means you have the little circle yeah. on the wrong yeah. way. So you're, like, trying to curl it left and yeah. you end up rolling it to the left. Yeah. And it keeps going all the way over. And you're yeah. Like, yep, fuck. To the neighbor's game. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <sighs> that's... That's it, but um, they were up three nil, Jack and Toey, and we are not winning seventeen to five. So, uh, fair to say, Cooper fucking carried me. <laughs> um, but I won really good round. It's not that interesting, but I knocked the kitty into like the ditch, and apparently that's play on. And then everyone else has to stay on the pitch. If they yeah. go on the ditch, it's over. So I, I basically won around. It, yeah, Jack was saying that's what they try to do. They try to just push the kitty out. Yeah. Because that way, like, you have to basically get to the edge. And if it goes over, it's yeah, a yeah. dead ball. Yeah, whatever. hectic. But, yeah, um, it was fun. It was really fun. And then what did we do at the end there? We done furthest away from the Jack. Has to drink. The kitty has to do shots. Yeah. Yeah, that's And it. funnily enough, there was... Two people that were absolute dog shit. Straight in the, dit, in the trench. Christian and Maz. Um, yeah. Christian, all game, no matter, and maybe he had two good, three good shots at the very end, but the whole time, wrong bias. So he was just like, every time he's like, oh, bro, I've got it right here. It's the right way. And with throwing, it goes the wrong way. I'm like, yeah. bro, just spin it around. Yeah. Every time, he would like fucking autocorrect himself and do it the wrong way again. Yeah. It was every fucking shot. And then there's like a couple trying to play, like trying to play across the zone. I'm oh, like, dude, yeah. I'm like, I'm so sorry. I'm like, go get your fucking ball and just move it over. <laughs> like, t- like, you're ruining your fucking game because how shit you are. Oh, but like it, what I found funny was um, when it came to the shots thing, everyone was like, oh, what? And then someone was like, oh, and you have to pay for it. And everyone was like, what? I don't want to play. And I was like, I don't know. I'll, I'll shout the shot. Like, yeah. I don't mind. And then everyone was like, oh, yes. Yeah, I'll yeah. play. And I was like, wait. It sounded like you. none of you wanted a shot. Yeah. Not because they didn't have to pay for it. It was sound like no one wanted a shot. And then once I said, no, I'll shout, yeah, yeah. everyone was like, yes, I'll play. And I was like, wait, so now you all want a shot? We just, we just hang with brokies. Yeah. Like, I think I shout the shots. I mean, I was, I was a bit of a brokey. Yeah, well, that's why I didn't mind shouting. I had a good fucking month. Well, the thing is, I shouted Christian's shot and you were going to shout Maz's, but yeah. then you shouted me and you were shot. Yeah. And we done that. And um, fuck, man, I picked tequila because... I wasn't doing a shot, and I fucking hate tequila. So do I. Like, when you chose, I was like, fuck's sake. You, you thought, didn't have to get us a shot. Well, I thought, if we're the host, we got to do a shot as well. Yeah, it did make sense. And then um, I guess we can move on to Sunday Arvo slash night. Right. We were meant to sit down and all eat food together, but um, everyone's decided to eat earlier, which yeah. sort of made sense. It was like 12. Yeah, it was... Oh, I assumed everyone had fucking breakfast. Like, yeah. we were meeting up at 12. Like, you assume it was up at like 10 maybe, eating, but yeah, we were two hours... We were pretty much an hour behind the whole day. So we didn't get food. Went for a fucking walkabout. Yeah. Um, yeah, we finished up at the Bowls Club and then we walked and it's not that far from Connors. About don't a kilometre and a half. Yeah, don't try and like map us out or whatever. Yeah. I need to shit so badly though. Right now? No, no, during, not, yeah, well, always, bro, always. No, during that walk, man, the whole time I was like, I need shit, man. I need shit so bad. I had to shit the fucking pub. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So on the walk back, we, um, we stopped off at an Irish pub and, um, I had my first Guinness. Yeah. Um, hated it? Yeah. I thought it was dog shit. I'm not a beer person. Or a but, coffee, man. Yeah. <laughs> so exa- that together is the worst thing you'd ever drink. Yeah. And, um, I'm gonna call Jack out. He's a he is a pommy. Yeah. Um, Maz sat there and said, "I don't know whose idea it was to combine beer with coffee." And then Jack was like, "Who the fuck said it? Sound? Who the fuck said it's beer with coffee? It literally is beer with coffee. The taste, the flavor is literally beer and coffee. Yeah, a stout is literally beer and coffee. So Maz, you were right, and Jack, you were wrong." And yeah, but yeah, I had my first one and um, I was saying like, oh, it's not terrible, but I was like, it's not good. And it was what, six dollar half pints? Yeah. 
I don't know how much a normal pint would usually be. A uh, normal pint is 518 mil. And what's half a pint? So that's... Um, two... Uh, fuck. 259? Yeah. Okay. So, but so uh, smaller than a schooner, because a schooner is, what, 330? Mm. 340? Yeah. That's pretty shit. $6. Yeah. I didn't pay for mine, actually, so that's sweet. Yeah, but I think Bailey did. All right. He only owes me. How much was it for a half pint? Half schooner? Um, not sure. Right. Six bucks. It was six six bucks. Bucks. I asked me four bucks. I'll just put yeah. a, I'll just put a running chat. Well, who owes me money? You know what's funny too. He <laughs> bought, so he bought two back to the table. All right. He bought two back to the table, and he goes, "I go, oh, what are you guys drinking?" He goes, "Oh, uh, Guinness, Guinness, man." And I was like, oh, yeah, "Fair enough, it's Irish pub makes sense." I was like, "I've never had a Guinness," and he's like, "Oh, do you want to try some?" I was like, oh, "Yeah, I'll, I'll have I'll have a sip." And he goes, "Oh yeah, like drink out of Connors," and I was like, "What?" <laughs> I was like, wait, what? And and then I was, he's like, yeah, just drink out of Connors. I bought it. And I was like, oh, okay. I just had like the tiniest sip and I was like, I was like, yeah, fuck, I'll get it, whatever. I grabbed one and then I was like, all right, boys, to the bottom. Like, let's race. Yeah. And everyone's like, what? You can't skull a fucking Guinness. No, I skulled it. I Not your fuck. first one. And I was like, what? I was like, why? Because you had to go. And they're like, you have to savor the taste. I was like, why? It's shit. Yeah, no, nah, that's fair. Like people, some people are like, um, there's a thing about scaling pints of Guinness, or not scaling, but drinking. It's like your first, your first drink of it has to go past the label, like the yeah, like the yeah. Thing. And it's like, so pretty much scaling a pint of Guinness isn't wrong at all. A half pint is pretty much that amount. Yeah, but yeah, um, and they said that, and then I ended up sculling it anyway. Yeah. Um, I think no, I think I had two skulls. Yeah. So like, I done half, and then I was like, oh. Because yeah. no one else was doing it, so I was like, "Oh, by the way, that pub is so shit." Oh, it was terrible. I went. I, I I'll go. To, I got a story. Right, I'll tell it before we move on. Okay. Um, but like, well, I'm going to shout out the chick that was there in the Broncos jersey. <laughs> yeah, she, she was. She was a pretty good looking chick, and Jack walked up to her, and I think he tried to riz. But yeah, um, not going to lie, I'm not the best parent in the world. <laughs> she was sitting down at the pub having a drink, watching the live music. Yeah. And um, Jack was like, oh, why don't you come back to the apartment and we can watch the footy? Like, you, you know, you're going yeah. for the Broncos. Half the people here were going for the Broncos. And she goes, oh, no, sorry, my one-year-old's upstairs asleep. And I was like, what? That's how Madeline McCann got stolen, bro. Actual, though. <laughs> yeah. Legit. Don't go fucking summer holidaying in Portugal. Yeah. yeah. Legit. So you get fucked. But yeah. Literally, like, if you're a kid, you get fucked. Yeah. But I was like, that's that that like that doesn't sit right with me because I have kids, so I'm like, that just yeah. If you're just taking her kid back, then she got to come afterwards, come grab him. Yeah, way anyway, yeah. easier. She just could have just put the kid in bed here. Bring in Lucy's like, who's that? I'm like, oh, well, her mom's on the way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what's your story about? Okay. This pub? So well, I'll go from my perspective. What happened? So when we got back there, we walked past. Go and just walk back to my house. It's about fucking. It's the. It's literally the closest thing to my house. It's literally you can see my building. You could literally hundred meters sprint to my building. Yeah, it's about hundred meters, I guess. No, nah, it's a bit further. Maybe, maybe three hundred. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty close. You can, my building's like right beside it. It's and like I'm like okay, cool. And we go. Jack's like, "Oi, cunts!" It's like, "Oh fuck!" Jack is Jack and Maz are just sitting in the fucking pub yeah. having a beer. Yeah, and we're just walking on our way back, going, "What the fuck, are you guys do?" He's like, "Oh, we stopped for a beer. It's just taking forever." I was like, "Fair enough, fair call." Cool. And then I was like, all right, well, we'll come for a beer too. I guess we'll get out of here. I was like, I need a shit. So I'm going to take a shit here before we leave. Yeah. I'm downstairs taking a shit, get a call from Christian. Boys, boys, where are you? I'm like, oh, we're at the pub. He's like, what? Like, I'm at the front of, the, like, out the front of your house with the alcohol. We're going to go inside. And I was like, oh, if you want, you can come back and grab the keys and we'll be there soon. <laughs> like, if you want to take the alcohol upstairs, otherwise just come come to the pub. He's like, I can't get the pub alcohol. I'm like, you can. It's fine. It's closed. Yeah. Like, they don't give a fuck. Um, literally just sitting up at the smokers area, and um, he was like, "No, no, no, I'll wait, I'll wait." And then we spend like I come out of the bathroom like five minutes later. Yeah, we spend extra like fifteen minutes just hanging out. Oh yeah, and all these boys are waiting with drinks at the front of the club, the well, front of my house by themselves. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like when I said to the bottom, I was just thinking, "All right, so we can fucking have a drink yeah. and get the fuck out." That's right. Like skeleton, we'll just go. We don't need to hang yeah. out here. We got, and we everyone, got the alcohol at the house. Everyone's like, "Oh no, like you can't skull." I'm like, "Like we have boys waiting," and then Jack's going. Oh, they shouldn't have walked so fast. Is it? No, you guys literally stopped. <laughs> <laughs> you stopped because you we were walking too slow. Yeah, and then you yeah, it didn't make sense, but um, it was all right there. Um, then 
Did you? My have story any? was like yeah, I went, I've been there once before, right? So I've always I've always seen it driving past. Well, that's pretty cool. I'm like, oh, when people ask me where I live, like, oh, it's a it's by that bar with the toucan on it. You know, the fucking whatever it is Darcy Arms. Um, now people are like, no, nah, I know where he lives. Yeah, yeah, that's the pink poodle. I love by the Hooters. Um, uh, but yeah, so. With that, one time like me and Lucy were going for a walk in the morning and we saw at the menu like, Oh, it looks alright. We should go over dinner one night. I'm like, when I'm frying up, like, fuck it, let's go in for a pub feed. Yeah. And some random lady was like, Yeah, it's really good. You'll love it. It's a great pub. <laughs> we go down there, it's that semi final with France and Australia and the women's woke up. Like yeah. the like the, the Yeah. The cycle yeah. was going. There's just men just screaming as soon as we walk oh. in, like, You fucking stupid slut. Fucking do it. Oh. Do it. And we're like, fucking hell. <laughs> I'm like, all right, walk in this little fucking Irish fucking house. Like, yeah, it's tiny. It's tiny. And we just go in there, go to have dinner. I, I get like the worst party of my life for yeah. 30 bucks. Fuck. And she gets like a salad, same price, also terrible. I pay $13 for a pint. And I'm like, wow, we should have gone to fucking crafties at this yeah. price. I was like, this is fucking terrible. Like I expect it to be cheap or like it looks really good food or just some, you know, something, something to have something on it. But it was just shit. And with the atmosphere like that too, bro, it was people it screaming. Worse. It was good being able to watch like the footy, yeah. Like, but it was just people screaming the whole time, and I was like, "This is like way too small to have live events on." Yeah, like this is no one's local. No, it's no one's local. Yeah, it could be yours, but you wouldn't want it to be. No, yeah. no, I would rather like literally the surf club is way more chill. Yeah, and that's literally. Yeah, that's not down the road. <laughs> just like training them up position. I mean, even the fucking Broad Beach Bowls Club's just down the road. Yeah, legit. And like that was like it has actually looked really nice. The bolo is really too. nice, man. Yeah, they they do really good poker tournaments there. Yeah, we yeah, should do it again soon. It's so cheap. Yeah, I, it was only ten dollars a head. Um, if anyone's interested, and yeah. apparently, no, not apparently. From what Jack and Cooper told me, it's the biggest bowls club. Yeah, it is. Maybe in Queensland. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's where they play Holmes the pro. Holmesville Bowls is pretty good too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, should we move on to... Some topics. Oh, well, I was going to say the rest of the... Oh, yeah. We're we'll doing a full recap at yeah, once. full recap well, at how once. How about we get a drink for the recap anyway? Let's get a recap. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Let's get a drink for the recap. So we got some semi, semi-warm double lemons. Yeah. Uh, minus one ninety six double lemon. Um, We've tried the grape on the show. We've both drunk this many times, but we haven't actually decided. Is it just to rank me it. that gets a cup. Oh yeah, yeah it is, bro. I'm just gonna like, <laughs> shell it. All. Um, I already know what it tastes like. Um, it's good. It's not great. It's not terrible. It's not cold. So yeah, so um, next one's a bit cold. It's gonna make it a bit difficult. Did you put them in the freezer? No, I didn't. I didn't want to forget about them. Yeah. Oh, that's a bit salty when it's fucking warm. That's a whole new thing. See, I don't really. Li- I like the grape because it tastes sweet and tastes like grape, or like grape flavoring. Whereas the lemon, though, the lemon you can just taste the alcohol in it, which for me isn't it really a vibe. Um, yeah, because this is not cold, it's hard for me to rate this right now. I'm going to say my rating for the next drink. Yeah. Because I feel like it's hard to rate it when it's still yeah, lukewarm. lukewarm. Yeah. Um, Why do cans take so long to fucking, like, hot cans just don't cool down? Yeah. The bubbles are, like, coming out. Um, Sorry. So, yeah, we're drinking minus 196 double lemon. They are a 6% and they're 1.6 standard drinks. They they're also so true. 122 calories. Okay. can. Uh, less than a gram of sugar. Yeah. That was the most rained and saddest description of yeah. drinks we ever did. Oh. Like, oh, there we're just doing the motions. We're both, we don't get paid for this podcast anymore. Um, yeah. Well, no, because I'm going to get into why later in our recap. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Well, we'll cheers to that. All right. Let's have a cheers. Get out, get it, get out, things out of the way. Oh, that is. <coughs> oh. <coughs> I honestly am struggling with that. Holy fuck. That's not the best. Fuck me dead. That is not the best when it's warm. Nah, it's not that warm actually. It's just mid, but mine's warm. It's like it's like it's not it's not it's not warm. It's like room temperature. Yeah. It's like drinking water from the bedside in the morning. Yeah, but that's good. 
It's refreshing. It's replenishing. Bro, I've been, I've been this just going to where you're doing your skull. Like, I've been waking up. The heat's coming back, right? So in this house, the, the bedroom doesn't have air con. It gets really hot because the morning sun goes on my window. That, oh, that My beautiful ocean view, the morning sun hits it. <laughs> um, and it's really fucking hot from like 5 a.m. onwards when it gets to summer. So even the last, like, few, only this last week, we've been waking up feeling like fucking, like, you know, being dried out like sardines. Yeah. It's like, in my opinion, I'm never being flash banged. But that's how I feel waking up. I'm disordered. I'm like... Someone's, you know, just fucking got a gun shot beside my head. I'm like, fucking don't know what's going on. My mouth's dry. My eyes are burning. Every morning's the same. I also have sleep apnea, which might be something to do with it. But also, waking up dehydrated doesn't help. No. So, for the next three months, I'm going to sleep on the couch. How do you actually prevent that? Sleep apnea? No, no, no. no. Waking up dehydrated. Um, Is it just because you're not drinking enough water throughout the day? It's just because the room gets so hot that in the eight hours I'm sleeping, I'm just sweating. It could also have to do with not drinking enough water during the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. it could do. But, yeah. like, I'm peeing a lot during the day and, like, being pretty hydrated. Yeah. And okay. just waking up feeling, like, super dehydrated. But if I sleep out here with the aircon on, it's not the same thing. It's yeah. fine. Mm, okay. At least it's just overheating in the bedroom overnight. Yeah. Like, I, sweating in my see, sleep and stuff. See, I'm really glad um, at mine, on my side of the... Where my bedroom is on that side of the house is actually quite cool because there's another house next to it, but yeah. it's actually above. Yeah, it's sort of like it's there's like a little rock wall yeah, it's and kind then of blocks it. Yeah, yeah, and it sort of blocks any sort of sun. So that side of the house always stays pretty cool, and I have a pretty good ceiling fan. Yeah, that keeps the room. Like, that one's good, but the room, the way the shape of the room is, mm. it's like it doesn't really get us yeah. our heads. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. See, that's it. Who comes up with some of these fucking floor designs? Yeah, legit. Like the, the the fan really should be so you, you have your you hit your bed against the wall yep. always. The the fan literally there's only you see my room. There's only yep. one way you could put the bed. Yeah, no. Yeah. So why is a fan like in the middle of the room, not at the end? Yeah. Like it's just weird. Yeah, that's special needs. Like it's cooler with the fan on, but you just wake up. It's so fucking hot, man. Yep. It's fun. If you leave the door open instead, just hear cunts on the tram at like fucking four yeah. and one being crackheads. There's no winning. Have you ever thought about getting aircon put in there? Oh, uh, like I've, I've thought about putting portable aircon, but like like this couch bed is really comfortable. Yeah, like I like sleeping on the couch. It's quite nice. Like watch a movie on the TV, brush, brush teeth, go to bed. Yeah. Pretty chill. Like it's easy to do. Like the aircon's out here. The aircon gets the whole area. You wake up. Yeah. I'm not going to go back to the bedroom. Literally, yeah. I'm just going to grab my uniform, have a shower, mm. get in the kitchen, make breakfast. I'm not going to go back in the bedroom. I don't need to in the hot bedroom. Yep. The aircon being circular and turn it off when I get up. It's pretty chill. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. But that's just my complaints about my my living in a beautiful apartment on the Gold Coast and yeah, you know, o- ocean ocean front. Yeah, ocean view property. Just it gets too hot in the mornings. There's just too much sun. <laughs> Sucks, man. Um, also, if you guys want to, um, if you guys do want to donate, I would love to get an air aircon in my bedroom. So, if yeah. you guys want to donate to that, that'd be great. And I'd love money. Yeah, yeah, we'll take half of it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> moving on to, I'm going to continue the recap. Keep it going. I'm going to grab other drinks. Keep going, though. Yep. Um, so, after we've hit that little Irish pub, we have moved on to Connors, or actually BWS. Um, we all grabbed our drinks. Uh, I went a bit stupid. I went half a case of cruises, which cruises are so fucking expensive. They are so expensive. Have a guess. Um, I'm going to say 96 bucks. Okay. They were 89. 89. Yeah. Okay. And I was like, holy fuck. Because I was planning on getting a case for myself. Yeah. Which I probably should have in the end. Um. But yeah, got 89, eight, half a box of cruises, and then I was like, oh, 12 drinks isn't going to be enough. Especially 12 standards. Stupid. That's stupid from me. Even Bailey said, he goes, are you going out? And I was like, no. And he's like, that's a lot of alcohol. Said, that's enough, gang. <laughs> and, and, then, and then I was like, no, 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 surely like a 10 pack of 196s as well. And he's like, that's a lot. Like, like, I wouldn't drink that. He's like, what? And I was like, I drank like eight beers. That's about it. Yeah, well, if there's any, if there are any, is there any cruises left? Literally, is one. Yeah, yeah. Well, that might not even be mine. I might have drank all mine. Yeah. Um, but you were chopped. Oh, like yeah. You wouldn't have been going out. Yeah. Oh no, I wasn't planning on going yeah. out either, <laughs> at all. Um, 
But yeah, I would say like I was not even really tipsy before I got back to yours. No, I was the same way because of how hot the day was. I yeah. was drinking. I was drinking like beers all day, but mm-hmm. like yeah, probably like ten beers out. But bit walking back and then eating a big feed doesn't help me out. Yeah, like and I drank beers all night and I was fine. Yeah, and 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 like getting into the night, right? And as I just stated, I was fine before getting back to Connors. Now, a big part of this is I woke up Sunday morning, 6 a.m. Don't know why. My body just goes, oh, no, you're not, you're not having a sleep. Yeah. You're not having a sleep in. Anyway, I wake up and I was like, fuck, I'm hungry. Didn't really have much dinner last night. Need a wank. Yeah, need a wank. <laughs> And anyway, I decided to go get some Macca's brekkie. Had some Macca's brekkie. And um, that was about 8 o'clock. And then, yeah, got to the bowls club and I was like, I'm not hungry right now. I might be later. And then because no one else was really eating, I was like, fuck. I don't really want to be one of the only people eating at the yeah. table. So I was like, fuck it. I'll just, I'll maybe wait till we go back to Connor's. Yeah. And then I saw there was a Domino's on the way. I was like, oh, fuck. Domino's could rip. Anyway. We should have got Domino's. <laughs> Should have. We'll save so much money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll get into yeah. it. But um we went back to Connors for the grand final kick ons. And um how many people were here? Probably ten? Yeah, I'd say about ten. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's about ten of us that came here. Um Oh maybe twelve because Paris and Nathan show. Yeah. 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 Um yeah, so we'll call it twelve people came here and I, myself and Daniel were the only ones that were proper Bronco supporters. Yeah. Everyone else was like, I just don't want Penrith to win. Yeah. And obviously, if you've watched the grand final, you know what happened. Um, surprise, surprise. Spoiling the thing that finished five days ago. Yeah, Broncos fucking choked it. Um, I was devastated. Yeah. You are crying. I was I wasn't actually crying, but I was close to crying. <laughs> and if anyone doubts my loyalty to that club, that's the next tattoo. That's the next tattoo. Bronx I said two, I, three, four. I said if Broncos won, I'm getting the Broncos tattoo. We didn't win, um, but yeah, just get it. It's just a horse fucking Nathan Cleary. Yes, see that would be that would be sick tattoo, <laughs> <laughs> right where everyone can see it too. His face. <laughs> um, but yeah, before. Before the footy actually kicked off, someone got out the cards and then we didn't play a single card game, um, which was... But the cards got covered in no, grease and fucked. King's Cups w- was out. We did one round. And someone goes... No, I, I think I say to Sean at first, I go, fuck, bro, what's this up here? Like, can you put your left hand up? And he goes, yeah. And then I was like, oh, buffalo, buddy. <laughs> And then throughout the whole night, see, that's the thing. Once you start Buffalo, you have to keep doing it. Yeah. And, you know. If you guys haven't played Buffalo, if you drink with your dominant hand, um, you're fucked. Yeah. You're a scully drink. Yeah. So you've got to use the wrong hand the whole time. We it just breeds fear in people. Yeah. We don't do it here on the podcast, but we do it in settings like that. Yeah. And I've, I've said Buffalo. And then throughout the whole night, Sean has just caught me lacking the whole night. Yeah. And I'm not one to shy away from a Buffalo, especially if I started it. You knocked down 12 cruises to Buffalo. Yeah. Well, that's what oh, I mean. Oh, you knocked down one on my carpet, by the way. Yeah, but I sucked it off the floor. Yeah, it still went on the carpet. Did, no. No, it didn't. No, because Cooper lifted up the carpet. That's smart. Cooper lifted up the carpet and then Lucy came and then I sucked it out of the paper towel, which is <laughs> really was, fucking well, I disgusting. came back and I was watching. I came out of the toilet and I'm like watching you like suck this paper towel like to get the alcohol out. And I'm like, bro's my dad. <laughs> yeah, I um. so if you didn't r- realise already, um, after all the Buffaloes and watching my team get beaten in a grand final... It, it, I just, uh, what happened was like it was pretty much like the way it was, it was like Broncos took you know Penrith Pen- Pen- out for a nice steak dinner, got them to the you know had a nice dinner, romance them, did some riz ups, bought them a few drinks, got them home, got them to bed, started taking down their panties, bent them over, was breaking them to go, and then Penrith quickly like fucking like tasered the Broncos and just raped them and raped them and us. fucking raped them, raped me with their dick, yeah. They were ready to get that fucking cherry, cherry. They go, oh, pop, pop, pop. And just 
him have turned around and just fucking raped them. Yep. And we all had to watch it happen too. Couldn't look away. It kept happening. Yeah. It was fucking sad, man. And, uh, and as I said, like because Daniel and I were the only true, genuine Broncos supporters, everyone else has gone, unlucky. Unlucky Broncos. No one else was... I was a little bit hurt because Broncos are probably the team I go for yeah. if I have to go for a team. I don't go for the Warriors because why the fuck would I? I'm not yeah. that fucking marry. Um, Up the wires? No. Like, have you met any white New Zealanders that go for the Warriors? No, we, we moved here to get away from being that country. Maz. Oh! <laughs> he is white. He's going to throw a buff at you tomorrow. <sighs> He'll cry. Cry, yeah. Maz, fuck the wires. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, throughout the night as well, like, Sean's just hit me with, like, fucking Steph Curry range. Buffaloes. Yeah. He's like, like he's standing in the kitchen and He's like, doing a sniper call outs, bro. What's the kitchen from from the kitchen to the lounge for probably like four minutes, six five minutes? Meters? Oh, five, oh, six meters. Yeah. He's going, Oi, Jacko. And I'm going, what? Like Buffalo, mate. Yeah, Buffalo, I'm like oh, fuck, just open. He called the game, bro. And the thing is too, he caught me one time I had two drinks in my hand. Yeah. One in my left and the full one not opened in my right. Yeah. And he goes, Oi, Jacko, Buffalo, and I'm like, are you kidding? You have to call not open. Oh, okay. No, oh, that's we'll not see. part of the game. It has to be opened. Otherwise, like, if you grab a drink of an esky, you can call it. Like, it's not really fair. Well, that was the one that put me over the edge. Yeah. It's Sean's fault, really. Um, <laughs> but, but yeah, if we were to continue on from that, um, Sean goes, oh, let's just order some KFC. And proceeds to order $117 worth of KFC. Yeah. Um, the best part about that was when you get, he's like, I've already ordered it. And he's like, you got to have something like... Nah, bro. I don't, you get any burgers? Like, nah, just chicken, chicken, like got chicken wings, got chicken drumsticks, got gravy, got drinks. And I was like, I will not eat any of this. Yeah, like I don't eat fucking chicken off the bone and shit like that. Like yeah. I don't like it. Yeah, okay. I was just like, nah. He's like, are you sure you don't have any? I'm like, nah, bro. Like I would literally say, yeah. don't buy it. Like that's a fucking waste. And I'm just gonna like skip ahead a little bit with that. Um, the reason I didn't want to have the chicken as well. Holy shit. <laughs> A bunch of 10 or 12 drunk fucking men eating fucking KFC all over my house. That vacuum slash mop up job was fucking insane. Yeah. Grease everywhere, sauce everywhere. Like a little bit of chicken in every fucking corner of the house. <laughs> it was fucking retarded, man. It was a skin everywhere. Holy shit. Well, yeah, I'll, all I want to say is with the, um, with the KFC, right? So I'm, I'm calling you out, Maz. Maz orders the chicken, right? And it gets here and I go, oh, where's the hot and spicy? And Sean goes, oh, Maz said you couldn't get it. And I was like, what? I was like, no, you can get hot and spicy. You can change it. I know I shouldn't be this angry about it, but, like, the original is just not as good as the hot and spicy. It's better to it. wouldn't live as much of a mess. And Maz is going, what? No, you can't order it. I'm like, bro, you sold. You sold the bag. Sold the bag. I paid $17 for my share and you sold. And you know what was funny too? There was that much KFC left over, right? That when I... I swear I had like three bits of chicken and someone was like, whoa, calm down. I'm like, what? Literally, I threw out like nine bits of chicken. Yeah. That's what it I was, mean. Like, it was left there overnight and I was like, I'm just throwing it out because no point. But literally, like no one... Half the chicken wasn't even eaten. Yeah. Like even the pear and gravy, I was like, I should keep this. I was like, I threw it away. I kept the I kept the Pepsis because it was like, full. Yeah. Why no would you not? Them. Yeah. Like, and I was like, I kept those. But even the I threw out because I was like, there's literally like... That many fucking yeah, like literally, it was insane. There was like nine bits of chicken left, a whole box of chicken left. I was like, I just got to throw it out because I'm not going to eat it. Yeah, Lucy doesn't eat it either. It's greasy shit. Like, yeah, I do love KFC the burgers, but I just can't eat the chicken out. Yeah. It just makes me feel sick as fuck. Yeah, well, I only usually eat the hot and spicy chicken. Yeah, I, I don't really like the original, but I, I fuck with Wicker Wings. It's about it. Yeah, I think whilst drunk, I it enhanced the flavor. Yeah, <laughs> and I think. Like I said earlier, right, I hadn't eaten since this morning, that morning, sorry, and then I had that food, right, and I'm the type of person that needs to eat right before drinking. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm fucked. Yeah. And that's where we're getting to. I didn't eat right before drinking. I ate about four or five hours before drinking. Yeah. And then I drank, then ate. Yeah. So, yeah, I did get full from eating and it should soak up some of the stuff, but it also brings you're up. You're already G'd up. Like, well, I already the game, you're walking around saying weird shit. Was like, I? 
So I oh, guess this is context. My sister came, Paris, shout out to you, and her husband Nathan, who also wore his matching um fucking Pot the Rock shirt. Shout out to you, motherfuckers, you're great. Um and well, we were just hanging out up the top here, just chilling up when you guys all watch the footy. She was like, Oh my god, he's just dad. I was like, bro, he's literally Clint. I was like, dude, dude is literally the vibe right now. <laughs> bro, the drunkest motherfucker in the room. <laughs> fucking and you're everyone's best friend. Yeah. And okay. you're your own enemy. Yeah, honest <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Literally, Honestly. you were like fucking on the vibe bus right now. You're just oh. partying. Like, yo, I'll say random shit. You're like, you grabbed, I'm going to grab it out. This is what you want. To, do you remember this? When you want to play King's Cup with this? Uh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> Bro grabs our fucking like pottery vase. He's like, oh, pour, everyone pour your drinks in this. We're going to do scowls. <laughs> I'm like, no, what the fuck? Huh? No, don't do, don't do this. Don't do this. <laughs> I do, I do actually remember that. Hey everyone, put your drinks. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, know, it's not as you can't drink out of this. You know, the only thing that sucks about that is I feel like no one else was on my level. No one was on your fucking level. You were on fucking horn. Everyone was going out clubbing, and you're just like, no, nah, I'm gonna go fight the Hat Man tonight. Yeah, well, that's that's another thing too. Is like I've never really. I haven't been a fan of clubbing for ages. Yeah. And I also don't didn't have the money to spend. Yeah. Was, I did, but I didn't want to. Yeah. There was no chance I was fucking going out. Yeah. It's like I was already here. I was like, everyone's like, oh, you're coming out, Connor. I'm like, I live here, bro. I'm good. Like, yeah. I'm literally just going to go fucking have a shower, chuck out all these empties. Yeah. Like, going out, let's go get some bitches, go clubbing. Is that your type of fun? Yeah, no, thank you. No, no. Like, it really isn't. And I was like, I was like, oh, I'm here with my my missus. She doesn't want to go out either. Like, she's sober. Well, especially with what Maz told us about the price, fifty fucking dollars entry to elsewhere, and Maz paid for two people yeah. or himself and someone else. Yeah, he paid a hundred dollars entry to, to ent- get no bitches. To- <laughs> now I'm calling him out too <laughs> to get into a club, right? And he told me. On Tuesday morning at work, he goes, "Oh, actually, yeah, actually, that no, that wasn't worth it." And I was like, "Really? Like twenty dollars is probably it. not worth it." I remember one time actually with elsewhere. I'm um, Sean. It was like I think it was like seventy five bucks interest. I'm sure ridiculous. It was like fifty between seventy five, and we we're like, "Fuck that!" And then Sean's like, "No, no, this DJ is actually insane. They're really good. I'll pay for all of us. I don't give a fuck." And I was like, "That's a G up. It's not gonna be worth it though." Yeah, went in there, was mid. Yeah. It was fun, but it was mid. Yeah. Wow. Absolute mid... Yeah, middle class. Yeah, literally, like, fucking elsewhere, like, they charge so much fucking money. Like, unless you're on really hard drugs, no way. No way. Yeah. That's all I've heard is people go in there and they're just jaws swinging. Yeah, legit. It's good for playing. that. But yeah. um, they were saying they went to another club that was, like, super cheap drinks and shit. Yeah, I don't think it was a club. Oh, no, no, sorry. Fabrics. Mm. That's what it's called. Yeah, yeah, they were telling me... Six dollar fucking two like basics, basic basic basics. Six dollar yeah. basics. Was it two basics? It was two for six. Yeah, like, it was fucking ridiculous. I'm like, what the fuck? Where are we in the fucking so nineteen seventies? Like, fucking uh, red vodka, vodka, raspberry, vodka you know, raspberry. Yeah, vodka raspberry, vodka coke. Yeah, shit like that. That's fucking insanely That's cheap. That's pretty good. Low key. Like I'd go there and just fucking for praise. That's yeah. cheap as fuck. That's like, so smash good. ten of those and fuck off. Yeah. When no one else is in the club, you're like, yeah, I'm gone. Well, actually, that's a story from when we were like, remember when we were like 18, went to the bourbon bar? Yeah. The bourbon bar used to go off, though. Yeah. And now it's Not like... when we went there. No, it was closed down. When we went there? Yeah. It was closed down? No, no, it was the last yeah, time, yeah. 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 No, but I'm saying when we went there, it used to be cheap as fuck drinks. Yeah, because I remember like, this was a, this was like the first time we went out clubbing together. There was yeah. one time Jesse got fucking, um, got... Um, was a sober driver and also got barred from the club for being too drunk. Yeah, oh, I remember that. Yeah, he literally like literally went to jump over a, a barrier, and they were like, "Oh, hey mate," he was like tripped his foot, and they're like, "Hey mate, you've had a bit much tonight." I'm like, "He's literally our fucking driver. He's yeah, parked he, up, he, driving us home. He's sober." Right yeah, now. yeah, I do. But yeah, that. we all got told to go this bourbon bar. Like, oh yeah, bourbon bar's sick, man. It's like you get five drinks for twenty bucks. We're all like, "Bro, that's a really good deal." Yeah, we went down, paid for it, get in there. We're the only people in the fucking bar. Yeah. Literally, it was like that bit from the in between is a eh? yeah. Well, the thing is though, if that was now, I'd be fine with that. Same because it'd be like we can create our own vibe. Yeah, fucking drink, piss, get basically pre's. Yeah, literally, that's and it then, now. Like that's then, that's the change, eh? But that's the thing. We always when we first used to start going out, we went out like at nine. 
Yeah. And then we, I think the older you get, you realise, oh, people go out at like 11. Yeah, you just drink at home until like you're yeah. nearly ready to pass out and you yeah. go out. That's what, that's what I don't understand when you have pre-drinks somewhere and so, people are like, all right, let's head out now. It's like fucking like 10. Yeah. You're like, oh, no, no one goes out till like midnight. Yeah, let's just fucking get, so, oh, we're not going to try and get free entry. Let's just try and get there and get fucking gone. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so basically doing Buffalo, blah, blah, blah. Connor and Lucy offered to drop us home, which is pretty good because Connor lives you in You weren't going to leave any other way. No, nah, mum was going to pick us up. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, because um, Cooper was saying, oh, mum, mum's going to come pick us up. And then Lucy was like, oh, no, I no, don't Lucy's mind. a good guy. I don't mind a good yeah. guy. Good cunt. Oh, he said a good guy. I was like, oh, something you're not telling us? <laughs> Lady boy <laughs> um, But yeah And Lucy decided To drop us off Which is v- very nice Because You she guys li- it now. You guys live in Yeah well, You guys live in Surfers And we live in Pack Pines yeah. Um, And yeah On the drive home I low key blame the car So <laughs> I wind down the window And you know how you get sometimes And you're just Wind blowing in your face And then you're going I feel sick Oh fuck Yeah no I think I'm gonna like I think I'm gonna throw up and then I'm I'm going like this, right? The belt's on me. Oh no! Oh no! I can't get out. And like I've already, I'm already sort of in the. No, like I'm so, I'm sort of already got it in my head. Like I'm gonna throw up. Yeah, yeah. So like I've gone bang, and Start the seatbelts restricted me, and I've yeah. gone, oh my god! Like I'm gonna throw up, and I literally can't lean over. And I think Maz was like, "Why didn't you just unbuckle your seatbelt?" I'm like, "Well, I wasn't thinking about that." Yeah, you're drunk. You're drunk as fuck. You were gone. And I just, I was like, "Fuck!" First instinct was like, "Bang!" And I, I'm so glad it wasn't like a lot and just yeah. didn't keep coming. But it just went in my hand, and then Cooper tapped you on the shoulder, and then like Lucy pulled over, threw it. I thought I threw it out the car, but I must have got it landed in the seat. Like hub. Most of it went out. Yeah, it, most of it did. Yeah, you're pretty good. You're pretty good. I don't think anyone in the seatbelt either. And then fucking, I had vomit all over my hand. I was like, fuck, wipe it on. Yeah, that's all I said. I was like, bro, just let you take it. Just do it. Put yeah. on your shirt. Take your shirt off. Wiped well, on my shirt. shirt off, took my shirt off. And um, I was like, oh, fuck. I was like, yeah, I'm good now. Like, I just needed to get that up. And um, yeah, so that was that was my night. Yeah. And um, yeah, Connor, Connor has a different perspective on the night. <laughs> Do you want to get into yeah, that? Yeah, I love how you're like, I missed four hours of the party because I was dead. No, Me. it was like an hour. Um, yeah. After the after the footy, um, that's pretty much where our paths converge. Um, it, it, our, like, my night went a bit differently. It was mostly just chatting with my sister and Nathan, just hanging out, catching up. Because I haven't seen Nathan in ages, her husband. Um, and yeah, once Lucy ended up, went out shopping, came back with like all this food for the boys. I'm like, oh, Sean, I literally ordered KFC oh, out right after you left. What did she get? I ended up putting them out like nuggets, chips. Oh, like really? Pizzas. I put a, I put a pizza on, put some nuggets on, just gave the boys whatever. See, I don't remember any of that. Nah, because I was like, I'll give a bit more food, but like, I was like, fuck, like you didn't need to get it, babe. Like, yeah. she Sean got fucking so much KFC. Oh, shout out to Lucy though. Yeah, That's... Lucy's a fucking G. She's see, I, I see if if we knew, we would have been like, oh, Sean, don't bother. Yeah, but I, I was like, Lucy, like, why are you buying the boys things? <laughs> Like, <laughs> well, I pay for your dinner. Why the fuck do you think my friends are more important? She's than like, me? oh no, I use your card, and you're like, oh, so I'm buying the boys' dinner. Oh, just charge on the bill, I guess. <laughs> she actually used the Potty on the Rocks card. Yeah, it's it's we're in the in debt yeah, even more yeah. now. So yeah, it's we're in debt. Subscribe or whatever. <laughs> um, and like that was like free church. She brought food. I was like, oh, babe, all right, I'll put some food on. But everyone's already ate. Yeah, I put some stun nuggies on. Like Cooper had a few. You know, had a bit of pizza. Like yeah. I had a few. I think Jack had a few. But yeah, it was pretty chill. We were just chilling, chained loose. Like she loose had a drink, hang out, Paris and stuff. We we're just I'm just vibing in the corner, like chatting with them, catching up. Then all of a sudden, it's like. Um, Daniel and Jack is having a chat about the podcast and watching or listening to the podcast, and who's a, who's you know a real fan. Yeah, who's a real fan and, and, and a real and Jack, mate. and Jack brings up that um, Daniel's not a real fan. Daniel doesn't like not being a real fan. No, no, no. no. <laughs> from what I've heard, is that it went from oh you're not a real fan to you're not a real mate. Mm. That's true. Are you into yeah? And I was like. It just became like I won't get into it because it's not really my place to talk about because I don't really know when it really happened with the fights and shit. But I'm just like chilling there and all of a sudden it's like two guys yelling at each other. I'm just like, whoa, what the fuck? Yeah. And from my perspective, it was like, I'm a better friend than you are to Connor. I'm like, oh, okay. This is like a pretty 
very narcissistic fight to have. And I'm yeah. like, all right, boys, who's and, a better friend? And if you were to look past that, what did you see? <laughs> you actually, literally, it's like these two are fighting in front of me, and I go across and like Jackson's like dying in the corner. Just no, like, I was crying. Not you're dying. literally dying, crying, fighting demons. I was like, no, like this, like. The fight's over. But there's so much going on. And the best part is, like, Cooper's Snapchat is literally the opposite view. It's, like, him, like, good Christian, like, oh, my God, Jackson's crying. And in the background, there's a fight going on. Like, literally across the room. And I it's, wa- like, it's like 9-11 memes. It's like you're, like, taking yeah. a video of your birthday and there's 9-11 in the background. <laughs> I wasn't, like, actually crying, but I was, like I said earlier, I was so close. Because it was a roller coaster of emotions for me because... When the Broncos were up and the Broncos were winning, good. I was so hyped. I was so I like I was getting up and I was like, "Holy fuck, we're gonna beat the best." You were running around like boys are on. I was like, "We're gonna beat the best Penrith team," and then we didn't. <laughs> and that's why it looked like I was crying. I wasn't. There was no tears, but it was it was hard. So there's one more moment I want to get into before everyone went out clubbing. Um, that's where the night ended. Everyone went to leave, <laughs> went to party. There's one more thing. So I, I was a bit hazy. I had, a few, I had quite a few beers about what happened here. Um, Jax is probably more hazy than I was. But all I knew was there, gonna be a, there was a sword fighting competition starting. Yeah. Between Christian and Coop, Christian and Jacko. Christian and me. Yeah. Um, Christian didn't want to have any part of it. I was like, fuck it, I'll do it, bro. Well, Let's go. Well, can I start off? Oh, let me just preface. So I'll cross it back over to you. But Let's have this real quick. Okay. Yeah. Speaking, speaking of, literally, we're going to do it again. Boys back on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back on. Right, so I'm going to start off and then I'm going to cross it over to Connor. So I've got up and I'm like, fuck, I really need to piss. I've walked past the crowd of people and... I think I've announced that I need to piss. Yeah. Not everyone needed to know, but I've just... I've you been... were yelling at everything you did. You're like, I'm taking a piss. Okay. I didn't realise that, but yeah, okay. I'm grabbing another drink. <laughs> You're like, oh, I'm having another one. You were like that, actually, though. Actually? Like, we need Paris to corroborate my story. Because she was pretty much sober, and you were the same thing. <laughs> yeah, well, I do remember there was... Up a... the fucking Bronx. Yeah. When they're down by fucking, like, ten. <laughs> no, it was down by two. And you're like, up the Bronx. Yeah, I was... It's the wrong field goal, bro. I was in disarray. (laughs) But, like, there was a point where, like, someone was like, oh, like, oh, you got to scale your... No, someone said something, and I was like, oh, I got to scale my drink. Oh, you convinced me. (laughs) Yeah, you were like, (laughs) oh, whoops, another one. Um, (laughs) Buffalo, oh, it's me. Oh, I did do (laughs) that. Buffalo just (laughs) settled. Um, But, yeah, Sean fucked me, bro. Yeah. (laughs) But, yeah, I've announced that I need to piss, and Christian goes, oh, bro, you need to piss. Sword fight And I was like Oh yeah Come on And I walk in And then I come out And I go No Christian Stop being a fucking pussy You can't bring it up And then not do it And um That's where I'll leave you Yeah so I walk in there And stand Oh fuck it I was at a sword fight Come And then Jack said He has his cock out <laughs> And I'm like Alright And my first And my first rodeo Mind, mind you though and I'm calling you out. Maz is standing right behind yeah, you. Yeah, Maz is there. What? I didn't realize so I couldn't see him. Maz is like out of the bubba dog, just fucking watching our fucking. He's like the fucking groomer, Melista. Maz is watching like, our decks. Maz is like, like drunk, and I'm like, what are you doing, bro? I think we closed the door <laughs> because Maz was like being trying to look at cock. Creepy. Yeah, Maz is trying to see some cock. <laughs> Up to I really want to see that blowjob video, bro. <laughs> Mez is like, I just want to, I just want to referee. We haven't had a Maz story in a while. That's it. Mez is just trying to cock watch. But no, Maz, what were you doing? I have to ask, what were you doing? Yeah, Mez just got to come to hang cause out. Because you were like, oh, I'll come in then. Yeah. And then as you were coming in, he's right behind you. And as you said, you can't really see. Yeah. I didn't see Maz at all, but yeah. I, now I know he's a cock watcher. And I'm, look, I'm like, whoa, what are you doing, Maz? And Maz is like, I can't, I can't remember what Maz said, but yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, continue with yeah. what you're saying. And then we're just there, and I'm like, like, Jackson just starts pissing. And I, the bro's just pissing, pissing. He's got the fucking machine gun, machine gun Kelly spray on. The just s- fucking. The sp- sprinkler. The sprinkler. The sprinkler's on. He's pissing on my toilet seat, <laughs> like on the top, and it's dripping down. And he's like, nah, man, I cleaned it up. I'm like, you, we were just talking about this before. He did clean it up, but it was behind the seat, and I had to, like, wipe it down yeah. afterwards. So I'm like, 
I love you with my missus. Like yeah. I, I, I can't. Sh- I'm not. Allowed to, I won't be allowed to have people over ever again. Yeah. <laughs> Tonight, there's chicken on the floor. There's a broken glass. Did we leave the seat up? No, I put it down because I cleaned it up afterwards. Oh right, yeah. Okay. And then, and then Jackson legit showed me the <laughs> what I need to see. What's been all week I've had in my mind. Uh, the yeah. circumcision at birth. Me and me and baby alien just. Yeah. Rent free the Rent free on my rent head with dicks <laughs> So Now I can't get Jackson's head out of my Dick out of my head And I'm like googling it um, um, Jackson's head out of my dick um, the Same thing bro um, And then I showed um, my dick And we just like dicked off And now This is why we do a podcast together Yeah Now next time we'll kiss Like the fucking Nose brothers <laughs> The island boys But yeah the thing And I like came out And I was like Ah oh, fuck I lost boys Someone has to go in And no one else Was up for the challenge So yeah, but I'd say you would have lost because you just pissed, so you would have lost. Yeah, I couldn't yeah. sword fight. Yeah, my sword was fucking out of fuel, fought out. Yeah, <laughs> just start wanking trying to come. <laughs> like, um, <laughs> but yeah, it was um, it was a it was a it was a nice moment. We both we both like shut our decks up to each other, shung them around a bit, played some games. Yep. Um, we didn't dock, which would be the next thing. Yeah. <laughs> It would be hard. I don't have a foreskin. I have enough for both of us. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! Um, Wait, what was funny when you came out though, and Lucy was like, "What? What were you doing?" I was like showing the anteater. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. No foreskin. Too much foreskin. That's how he. That's how he made a podcast. The perfect amount of foreskin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is, that's the episode name right there. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, <laughs> another thing that happened later on, um, mind you, I was I was like pretty fucking drunk at this point. Connor, I don't know what point you were, but Lucy's eating a bowl of ramen. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, is Connor any good at chopsticks? And she's like, oh, he's all right. And I was like, oh, I'm pretty good. And um, I was not good <laughs> at all. Because Connor hands me the bowl with yeah. the, the whole bowl, and I'm like, "Oh, what?" I was like, "What?" No, I was like, "This is Lucy's food," and I was like, "I was like, oh, I'm gonna try." And I like first attempt, I'm like, "Oh, don't worry." Falls out, my bad. Yeah, I'm like, "Oh, don't worry." And then Connor had done his, and I was like, oh, "Yeah, yeah, I'll shut him. I'll shut my mouth." <laughs> <laughs> but Lucy did say, "Like Jackson's really funny. He just richly raped my fucking um, bok choy." You grabbed it and took a bite out of a fucking bok choy. Did I? Yeah. What? And it was like I was like, why does it look like there's bits of it on the table? You took a bite out of the actual like bok choy. Oh, I did. Yeah, and it, yeah, it was lit on the table. I was like, for fuck's sake, we bought two for a reason, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, I remember that because someone handed it to me and they were yeah. like, you won't eat this, and I was like, what is it? And they're like, I don't know. <laughs> it's a bok choy. <laughs> yeah. See, I don't know. You just, it's like it's like kind of like cabbage. Yeah. You just took a massive bite out of I it. I took a bite out of the wrong end, too. Yeah, you did. At least, the, like, at least like, i got to throw it away now. I'm like, yeah, you can't really eat it now. <laughs> hey, did I eat it all or did I just spit it out? I think you just took a bite and spat it out. I swear I swallowed that. I don't know. Maybe you did. I couldn't, I couldn't find the spitty part, so you probably did. Yeah, I probably I just did. saw like, some leaves sitting there. Hmm. Okay, well, yeah, shout out to that. Um, we've been dribbling for about an hour just recapping. Yeah, we have um, some topics. I'm going to review this drink right now. It's it's hard because even this one came out a bit gross. A bit gross. I want to say a fresh can, fresh like ice cold chilled can. For me, it would be like a nine, but right now this is sitting at like an eight. It's just not doing it for me. Um, me, they're seven point five. Either way. Either way. Um, I also wanted to bring up, we bring it up, we've brought it up quite a few times in episodes before, um, but if you're struggling mentally, speak up, because it isn't weak to speak. Um, you know, it's weak though, killing yourself, so don't be a bitch. <laughs> Can't say that. No, because they don't kill themselves, because it's weak to do that. Okay. Reverse psychology. Yeah. Well, if you give yourself, you're a bitch and a faggot. Okay, that is true. We've been really good this episode. We haven't said. See, they're not offensive. This whole section just be one, one. 
out though. Yeah, one beep. Okay. <laughs> um, but what I will say is... It's a 57 minutes. Alcohol is a depressant, right? And when I woke up Monday morning, I I was not in a good way. Like, yeah, bro. Obviously because I drank a lot, but like I woke up like just having like not good thoughts and I was like, this, yeah, is, man. this is fucked. And... It's part of the reason why I don't drink anymore. Don't drink much. Yeah. You know, like, oh, we do the podcast. We have two, three drinks max yeah. a week. We used to do quite a lot. But, like, it was fun because it was a good good setting yeah, for good it. But vibe, I wasn't getting blind drunk. Yeah, yeah. But, like, yeah, after, after Sunday, I think I realized, like, yeah, that's just not me anymore. Like, yeah. I don't enjoy doing... Like, when I'm doing it, I'm like, oh, this is fun. Like, and as... Connor said, and as I stated before, no one was on my level. So at the same time, I, everyone's getting, what's the word? Like everyone's like thinking, oh, like Jackson's funny. Jackson, you know, he's hilarious. He's yeah. drunk. But for me, I was just drunk. You know, when you're drunk, you're drunk. You don't really. Yeah. yeah you're feel, fine. It could have been way worse. You could have been like a decade oh, about it. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. And that's yeah. the thing. When I get drunk, I'm not a bad yeah. drunk. I'm a, I feel like I make people laugh and all As long that as there's no, like, five foot six Lebos around. Yeah, exactly. UFC champ sort of shit, whatever. <laughs> but, yeah, um, yeah, just, yeah. I don't know if, you, if you're having those thoughts or anything, talk it out with people because, fuck, man, the way that I was feeling, yeah, Saturday, Monday morning, I was like, fuck, man. Like, I know everyone has that thought when they have, like, a hangover and they're like, yeah. oh, I never want to drink again, but I was like, fuck, like... Just the way that I was feeling mentally, I was yeah. like, I I can't put myself Dude, through that. After a big weekend like that, especially especially like a big drinking weekend, we like you know lack of sleep, partying hard. Mm. Um, that's always the way. Eh? Like I feel, I've even felt the same way, and I'm like here, like you know, didn't drink that much, drunk a lot, but like enough that I wasn't hungover on Monday. Yeah. Even the Tuesday coming on, just like that social battery from having a big, amazing, fun weekend going back to work. It's like it just fucks your head mentally. Yeah. Like you're just so like. In that vibe where it's like, wow, everything fucking sucks. Yeah. And I, I didn't want to, like, talk to the chat. I was like, oh, i got to, like, say hey to the boys. Didn't want to chat, you yeah. know? Like, it's just, you're getting this, like, real quiet. Like, even today, first time I've chatted to you was like, oh, hey, man, like, yeah, can you come over, Savo? Sort the podcast. Like, yeah. Um, and it is hard. Um, but if you're going through that kind of shit, you know, it does get better. It yeah. does get better. Like, it's all these feelings are temporary. Mm. Like, depression is temporary. Yeah. Like, you know... Like don't don't sell yourself out. Don't sell yourself short. Don't 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 fucking go. Oh, I had a big week with the boys. You know, I live for Friday to Sunday. Yeah. Then on Monday morning, I want to fucking kill myself. Yeah. Like if that's the problem, figure out why it's a problem and fix it. Yeah. Well, so, like I feel like in that instance, yeah. If you if you uh you're you know you're not happy at your job. Yeah. That's a problem in itself. But if you're not happy at your job and you're just Fanging for the Friday Yeah To Sunday And then you're feeling The same thing The next week You need to yeah. understand What is repeating itself Yeah Which is The Friday to Sunday Yeah Like if you just Change your weekend You would probably Feel so much Like if you just Literally, Done the that's Friday it. That's it Like just have a, have a Nice night on a Friday And then also Maybe Saturday Go to the movies Go to the movies You want to do something have a, have a nice pub Fair with the boys Go to the movies Or yeah. fucking play mini golf I can go on a tender date or something like that. And and I've realised, like, I not so much now, but, yeah, before, and especially on the weekend. And I feel like on the weekend was the occasion for, if I'm going to do that it. That was a blowout. It was the occasion was to do it. Yeah. But, like. If we're going to try hero one, it was that weekend. <laughs> but I've realised now that, like, I'm that sort of person that's, like, I can either have one or two. But then sometimes I just can't stop. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, that's being like a alcoholic. Alcoholic. Yeah. Like I literally not being able to say no to like like when we were just saying before, like I bought half a box of cruises. I wasn't planning on going out and I was like, Oh, I need more. Which I drank, but <laughs> drank most of it. But it's like that's that's the problem. Yeah, but I feel like that's People say it's an alcoholic mindset, but it's the same as like, oh fuck, you bring a bag of snakes over. I'll have one or two because I don't know they're not good for me. I'll have one or two. 
I'm eat the whole packet. You're not a fucking food addict. No. It's just you're enjoying in the moment like, yeah. how good it is. If you're drinking every day and doing that, alcoholism, but like you're drinking to a point where you're like, oh, if you don't drink a lot and you, how you don't drink a lot and you go, oh, when I do drink, I drink heaps. It's like, it's more, oh, I'm really fucking enjoying this. I don't understand, you know, what's going to fuck me up. I think it's a problem also though because I didn't have a lot of money and I spent too much money on alcohol. That's, that I didn't need. That's the way. Like, if you were not clubbing, you would even worse. You were the next day, you would check yeah. your account, fucking like, you know, so 400 bucks didn't. down, like, for fuck's sake. So I feel depressed as, like, waking up hungover at, like, 12 in the afternoon. You wasted half your day off. Yeah. And, like, I did that for so long. Mm. Now it's, like, like, with my partner, like, I don't go out clubbing much, maybe, like, once or twice since we've been together. Um, when I do, even then, I'm kind of like, fuck, I'm done by, like, 1 o'clock, man. I'm yeah. fucking old now. Um, yeah. But yeah, I've saved so much money doing it. Like, I understand how people go out and doing it, especially like if you're single. Makes sense going out. That's where you meet like the pretty girls, the party girls. So you want to get in there. But like, without that aspect of it, I just lost all interest. Eh? Yeah. I was like, I'm not like, even I said to the, I've said to the boys, like, they all know. I was like, we're going out and clubbing. I'm like, I go to a pub, I go to a bar and hang out all night. I go like some of the island rooftop bar. Yeah. Some of fun. Like, maybe even Carly Beach, it's kind of fun to go to. Yeah. Going to a club. I don't want to pay entry to, like, in saying this, I love my I love my partner, love my girlfriend, but like in saying this, I don't want to go to a club because the only reason I ever went to clubs was the fuck checks. Yeah, so it's like why would I go to a club to pay way more money for drinks for music I don't like? Yeah, and not fuck anyone. Yeah, like it's just a waste. Yeah, and if anyone doesn't know Connor, Connor likes a drink too, so it's like I fucking love the drink. Yeah, I love going out, but I just don't find that even festivals like, like I don't see a point in going festivals anymore. Yeah, it's just. A waste of money now. It like, is a waste of money. It is like oh, insane. That I'm going to a festival at the end of the year. Mainly because you've got reason to. You're, post you're, yeah, it's yeah. also the boys and shit. Like it'll be a nice party. Like for me, that's no point. Like yeah. But yeah, um, back on topic. If you guys are going through anything, I can call the helplines, DM us. Yeah, like, we've always, you know, as. As I think I have to preface this every time is like as much as we make jokes about like you know anything yeah we make jokes about anything like you know killing yourself fucking you know nine eleven memes all yeah. that sort of shit but like at the end of the day like we yeah we're fucking we're genuine people and like yeah. that's all just jokes to and, us and like, you're going through shit like and you need some help or just need someone to put you on the right. I don't know, line the right yeah. way. Just hit us up, man. Because I've definitely been been down that road. Like, you know, I've never been to the point where I'm like, I'm going to kill myself. But I've definitely been down the pathway where it's like, fuck, like, I don't know what to do with my life. I feel fucking... Yeah. It's the scariest feeling too, man. Oh, it's, it's fucked when you feel that you're alone. And that's why I do get like... I get why people kill themselves. I just... I do have... I do and have always just found it selfish. Yeah. Because like... Oh, oh, look, I'll, I'll, I'm going to be honest right now. I've had the thoughts of being like, fuck, like, what would it be like if I wasn't here? But then I'm like, I feel bad for the people that care. Yeah, that's I'm it. like, I don't know if they would, not that they wouldn't be able to cope, but I'm like, fuck, that would hurt them so much. So I like, said, what's the point? Yeah. I, I more have the toxic thought of like, who's going to my funeral? Yeah. Like, who would take the day off work to go to my funeral? Who really cares? You know, I've actually had that thought before and I'll, and like, not to gas myself up, but I'm like, I feel like there'd be like a lot of people there. Because I have a big family too, but I was like, I have a lot of good close mates. Yeah. And then I feel like, because I'm not someone to like make enemies. So like, I feel like I'm pretty friendly when it comes to everyone. Yeah. Shelly Kerr's doing a speech for her. Yeah. She's going to be there. She's planning it. She's she actually put- planned it. Yeah. She's she's like, oh yeah, I'm his, I've been his best mate. Yeah, About she'll what? she'll she'll plan it for like the um the reunion. Yeah, same same day. Yeah, um, let's move on to our first topic of topic. the night. I mean, mo- <laughs> most of them are knocked off. You know, we'll knock yeah. off the Bronx, the Bowls, the cock off. Oh, actually, I do have one more thing: the lime lime bikes. So they're meant to be a alternative, cheaper mode of transport, right? We're at the Bowls Club. 
and I saw a line bike there, and I was like, look, I've never been on one. I can't even remember the last time I rode a bike, so I was a bit, like, scared. That I was like, in the comments, I fucking beat you, cunt, cunt. I was like, cunt, like, I might fall off, and it might actually be hilarious, but I, especially, like, drinking, too. But um, I've tapped. No, I wasn't going to jump on, man. I was fucked. Well, I've tapped on, thinking, and it goes, like, holding $5. And I've gone, okay, like, that's not that bad. I've I've gone from the bowls club. I've gone up. I've rode pretty far, and then I've turned around. Yeah, come back to you guys. I've gone. I oh, Sean, Maz, Connor, Bailey have a go. I think only Maz and Sean had a go. Yeah. And I was like, I didn't also realize that they were electric. I thought they were just pushies. Yeah, yeah. But they have a little motor in them. Um. So once you start going, it sort of gives it a bit of a kick. Yeah. Anyway, um. After thirteen minutes on the app, I've clicked end ride. Um. So 13 minutes, I've ridden 820 metres, cost $8.60. <laughs> How much was it Uber to my house? A dollar for what, 10, 10 metres? Yeah. A dollar per 10 metres. So if I were to ride to no, your... metres. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, that's <laughs> retarded. Um, but a dollar per 100 metres, if I were to ride back to yours... How much would that have cost? Literally, the Uber back to mine would have been $8. It's literally base No, but fare. I'm saying how much would it, if I rode? Um, it would have been, without doing laps, what do you it would have probably been a- like, probably like 16 bucks, I reckon. Maybe maybe 14. That's so four far. Case. So like it... Because you've got to ride in a weird angle to get back there. Yeah. Um, so if anyone of you are considering riding, if you see a Lime bike or That's a Lime scooter, close by. don't, just walk. Or get the Uber. Just, yeah. Yeah. Like, literally, if it's more than a kilometre away, pay the $8 base fee and get the fucking Uber. Because, yeah. literally, if we got an Uber home, we'd have paid $2 each. Imagine that. Everyone's like, where are you? And we're like, we're here. We're upstairs. We got the Uber home. <laughs> Would you just walk like okay, fucking retards? But we yeah, pay $2 each on. <laughs> don't <laughs> fucking hop on those bikes because they are a scam. I, like, at first, Toby was like, oh, it's only $3. So, I was like, oh, okay. And then it said, holding five. And I was like, oh, okay. Not that bad, because I was thinking it was just like a five dollars, and then you ride and then hop off. Yeah, and that's it. I didn't realize it was like an Uber thing. Just goes by, yeah. And I was, I was like, oh, that's it's literally got a meter. Like that's so bad. It's like a taxi. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So never again. Never again. Yeah. Um. Never riding a bike again. (laughs) No. Um. I had one thing I want to talk about. Um. Yeah, we went through one of my topics. We had no topics tonight, but luckily we had a really big weekend to talk about. Yes. Um, I have a few things up there. I'll start with 23 and me. Um, that's that that's the um DNA testing. Oh, I thought I was gonna say it's a dating site. No, it's DNA testing. Um so as as a white male, I always want to say the N word. So um I'm gonna get a twenty three and me test to try and find my genealogy. Yes, I have a sixty fourth, one hundred twenty eighth. Because my 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 missus, she has one as she turns up. Speaking of the devil, one one fourth, one fourth, um, Nigarian. Um, <laughs> she looks like Bella Porch some somewhat as well. Um, yes, right now as you come in. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna get tweet through a me test so I can actually use the word and give all the boys a pass. Um, very worthwhile. You know what I've heard about them is that they like keep your DNA on file. Damn, illegally. I'm, I'm gonna get fucked up. So like, apparently that they, they like ran this. There was some crime that happened, and the guy had done a 23andMe test, and it was in the police system. Yeah, and they matched it with like the crime scene DNA. Yeah, and he was like, "I've never done a crime in my life, besides that one that he was never caught for." But, just does one rape. But he was like, saying, like, he's never had a police yeah. record. So, like, they shouldn't have had his DNA. When it goes to court, though, they've got to, like, prove how they have the DNA. Yeah, well, somehow they allowed it. Yeah, that's dodgy. But, yeah. And people, I mean, I don't plan to rape or anything like that. Yeah, no, but people are not saying... plans are People though. are saying it's not a good thing either. Because you have it's, a DNA on file. You have a DNA on, uh, DNA on file, too, and they also, like... It's like the whole microchip going fucking... Yeah. Um, it called going digital sort of thing yeah. like they'll have everything about you on file yeah. they'll have your DNA they'll well they everything. already have our fingerprints and our face IDs but then they might be able to clone iPhones. you might be able to clone you then we could get 
Yeah, I should do it, and we'll get them. We'll get clones, and they can do the podcast. Yeah, and we just like chain them up. And we're corner. just in the yeah. We're like, oh, I'd say this tonight. We just train them up, write our notes, and go, hey, just fucking vibe on that. They just start speaking another language they create. <laughs> we're like, what? They, no, they're doing every episode. They're just doing a quick little like, help me, help me. When he's in the bathroom, please, I need to get out of here. I've been locked in here for three weeks. Fuck. <laughs> uh, <laughs> But yeah, I want, I'm actually going to do it with an ATS just so I can get a little bit of fucking in words for the boys. Yeah, <laughs> I um I do want to do it, but like it is expensive too. Yeah, mm. we spoke about it early days of the podcast. Yeah, too, legit. which is funny. So I remember Lucy the one she found she was African. I was like, yeah. boom, let's okay. go. And Lucy's been fucking carrying that shit for life. She loves. She's it. been saying the n word. So she loves it. She gave me the pass. <laughs> That's why I say on the podcast. It, I just have to be. Lucy, it come, out. In, come and jump in. Come say hello. <laughs> She's not now. I think we've seen you smile this big before. <laughs> yeah, so you're going to be 23 and me for Christmas? Yeah, that is that's Jackson's Guardian Night, by the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thanks, thanks for dropping me home the other night. S- <laughs> sorry for vomiting in your car. <laughs> um. I'm taking it for a thing on this weekend. I was telling Jack about. It. I'll take. I'll take it for an actual car clean. Um, yeah. So we're gonna cock off. Um, what else? Do you want to get into something of yours next? Yeah. Um, pets. This is just something small. But did you realize pets have last names? Is it your last? Yeah. Yeah. So my that mom makes sense. Bubbles. Bubbles. Nothing else might be a bit fucking. Yeah. yeah. But like, it's just funny because my mum obviously has two dogs, um, Loki and Zeus. And Are yours mum's dogs? Yeah. I thought they were yours and Cooper's. No, no. I I like dogs. I like stuff, but I have kids to look after. I don't yeah. want to have to look after. Wait, so did Cooper have his own cat? Yes. Yes, okay. That was the one that died. Yeah. yeah. Unlucky Cooper. <laughs> Take the elbow. Um, but yeah, like Loki, right? So I think they got him... It's like when you get them microchipped, you have to get them uh, registered. So yeah, yeah. That's the word. Um, and it come back like... Loki Bryant and I was like, "What?" <laughs> I was like, "What?" That's that's weird. Name your dog uh, Martin, bro. <laughs> but I was like, that it makes sense. But I was like, it's just weird to see because like they have no other documents besides their like I guess their birth certificate, yeah, their registration. So it's just weird seeing Loki Bryant and Zeus Bryant. I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck? Because we used to have turtles as well. They sound like they're mad lifters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like we used to have turtles, fucking. Um, you don't get turtles, fucking like turtles and fish. Just don't Nigger don't Angelo care about. and what? <laughs> Nigger Angelo <laughs> and Leonardo, Brian. <laughs> so, what pets have you had in the past? Because they would have your last name. Um, well, you know, Ricky Rat. You're fit about Ricky. Well, Ricky, Ricky Newsom. Ricky Newsom. <laughs> <laughs> well, we had we had we had a dog named Macy. Macy Newson, that's chill. Slash, slash Newson. Yeah, what was that? A cat, dog. Slash and Butter were both dogs. Yeah, Butter, Butter Newson, Butter Newson. It's that fat cunt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else have you had? Any birds? Um, it's my sister's got one. She's got a few. It's actually a pretty good fucking story to get into. Whenever we go to the house now, there's just so many fucking birds around. Yeah, bro, it's fucked. I think Lucy's better to tell the story than I am because Lucy's fucking terrified, and that's how I know she loves me. Because she's come to my house, and there's so many fucking birds. <laughs> it's like ridiculous how many birds. Is that are out at the front? No, in the house. Oh, in the house. There's hanging out in the house. There's birds flooding around. It's like a fucking pigeon coop. Are your dad's? Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. Dude, he took losing fucking gallery really, really hard. Yeah, he really did. Like, well, your dad had a turtle as well. What was his name? What was the turtle's name, Luce? I don't know, but he has to feed it. It's, <laughs> it's probably dead. It's Bro, probably dead now. There's literally <laughs> no. There's one fish in this. Okay, so we got a, that's a good story actually to get into. There's a about no I don't have a name of him. We just call him Killer now. Yeah, because there's this like we got a fish Killer tank. Killer Newson. Killer Newson. <laughs> Killer Newson. <laughs> um, we have this like fish tank It's huge Dad made it It's like a nice wooden fish tank With glass and stuff It's nice it's, It works And like it's so foggy It's covered in algae Super foggy It's like going into like Fucking like a weird canal You know Yeah And it's like There was a lot of fish in there To start with 
Dad hasn't No one's fed the fish In like a year The family left It was just me and dad there We forgot about it Like No one fucking touched that thing For a year right <laughs> There's still one fish Fucking floating around Alpha There's an alpha That ate all the other fish He's That's still going the- We don't know what he eats anymore He's fucking He's just transcended He eats the algae He lives off algae Literally yeah. There's like one big fish in there now Literally yeah. it's, it's all that's in there And it's like He survived over a year Without food He has ate everything there? else and the turtle's gone, bro. Did he eat the turtle? We also had a crayfish as well, right? <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> a crayfish in there, and he's gone too. He ate the crayfish. No way. The other thing was, Dad did find like a weird like claw on the floor. So we don't know if the crayfish got out of the tank, and then like we had a, we had mice <laughs> at one point in the house. So I don't know if it, you can tell like this house is insane. Oh we don't know god. if the mice just went. The little rat just went and took the crayfish. But something happened But we don't know what's going on But it's fucking insane No Wow That went from Pet names To The killer fish I live in the trap house Yeah Bro that's actually funny as fuck the But fish, the fish is still alive And there's no No one's fed it in like a year That fish is on demon time Bro that fish is just Like living He's the punisher He's just living I want to get out of here I want to get out of that's, here That's literally the story Of the rat king Have you heard about that? Well the tales no, so I'm pretty sure the Rat King story is this village was flooded of rats, so they put down like a trap. They dug out a hole, yeah, right, and they all the rats fell into the trap, food or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And all the rats were in there. Let's say it was like a thousand rats, and they basically waited till there was one rat left, and then they put in the next lot of rats, and then waited till there was one rat left, and then they just killed it. <laughs> that was the Rat King Because okay. he ate the rest of, He yeah, literally okay. became a cannibal Yeah that's pretty fucking badass Yeah That's fucking badass that's, as your, fuck. that's your fish That's my fish Yeah The fish king I might just go put a few more Siamese fighting fish in there Just to like Divvy it up See they kill themselves though Yeah they do They'll they'll, they'll in fight And the, the, the alpha Will just like Won't come for the last one And be like Nice job And just eat him You know That, that, that gets me under a story My mum bought me and Cooper A fighting fish each Mine was blue. Cooper's, I think, had like an orange tail. And she put them right next to each other. They just fought to death straight and away. And they just smashed each other into the fucking... Yeah. Well, they smashed themselves into the thing. And me and Cooper come out one morning and we're like, why are they both floating? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> they double killed. Yeah, they killed themselves. Yeah, that's though. nice. They thought they were fighting and they killed themselves. Because they, apparently they just get worked up at anything. Yeah. You know? So wait, wait, were they in different cage, different yeah. tanks? They just like smashed the walls. They were like, like they were a bit bigger than this glass. They yeah. were like, like you know, let's say it was like out to there. Yeah, they can't see other males. They go crazy. Yeah. No, if they see the reflection, they go crazy. Yeah. The, well, anything, other males. If they see yeah. a female, they just rape them. So it's kind of like, it's pretty chill. It's kind of like, kind of like hanging out with libs or Polynesians, I guess. <laughs> oh, no, they don't all rape. It's just... It's just a fair few of you that <laughs> like ruin it. Put in the comments if you got raped. <laughs> no, just no, it's do a it, fair few of it, them it. that ruin it for everyone. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like um, it's like at work, right? We got told not allowed e- earphones anymore. Yeah, which is a bit of a bummer because I like, have on Tom, bro. I like listen to pop uh, to podcasts, um, especially our own. <laughs> um, but apparently, some dickhead was walking out. In the fucking courtyard With his AirPods in yeah. And a forklift almost hit him Right And now I've said Alright Some some dickheads ruined it for everyone Yeah But then I'm going The forklift has to give way Literally It's a person walking around And like If the forklift almost hit him Is that not on the forklift driver? Yeah. There's, there's a lot of shit parts in that story Because it's like The guy walking around Bro, why are you walking around the forecourt and shit with your headphones in? Yeah. That should be when you're at your job, you know, not... If you're walking around, like, you don't know, wear headphones, you're walking on the street, walking across the road and shit like yeah. that. It's dumb. But, yeah, but then again, yeah, exactly that. Like, the forklift drivers go, oh, there's a guy here. Mm-hmm. Boy, fuck what? Like... Yeah, and I... One thing I pointed out, I said, oh, had... The forklift driver was our boss, by the way, Kim. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> I've said, if Kim... Kim obviously hasn't seen him. Yeah. So he's obviously almost hit him. If so Kim, it's him and Kim in the story right now. Yes, him and Kim. And I've said, if Kim hasn't seen him, does that possibly mean he may have gone around a corner? And I said, if that's the thing, he has to beep. 
you have to be yeah, on a forklift. Boop, boop, yeah. You have to let someone know you're coming around the corner because you can't see around the corner. Yeah. So, like, they're both at fault, in my opinion. But yeah. if anything, it's the forklift driver's fault. And he's just getting salty because he's like, oh, I almost hit you. And then I'd have to do paperwork. Yeah. He's like, oh, I have to pay you our fucking bills and shit. Exactly. Yeah. And our boss's name was Bill. So, Bill pays the bills. Yeah, cool. He paid my bills for nine weeks. Mad nine, dog. Nine weeks? Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, I wasn't working. Remember when Maz said that you... you we've brought this up before. Yeah. Maz said that you'd done it on purpose. Legit. Like, yeah, I ripped my fucking thumb out of the socket on purpose just yeah. to get some money. <laughs> no, 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 no. So he he was saying that... Sorry. Yeah, he was saying you either done it on purpose or you've done it before. And then you just... You Meanwhile, like, I live with this motherfucker. Yeah. He's like, yeah, Connor must have ripped his fucking finger off the socket at home and then just done it. Like, he must have done it when he was fucking jerking off or something. <laughs> My joke was that you just sat on it <laughs> and it got stuck and then you broke it. That's fair. That's yeah. fair, actually. I sneezed. Yeah. Um, I've got like one more thing. You got it's two. Gangs. Oh, two, actually. Yeah. Gangs, power, um, same kind of thing. Yeah. Gangs. I saw something the other day. It was, um, it was just a little comment about democracy. Democracy is the will of the people. I mm. told Lucy about this because I always gauge it from her and see how she feels about it. But... Um, democracy, right? We all vote. We all decide. Majority rules. What about gang rape? What do you mean by this? So, say me and the boys, we're all there, and we go, oh, well, we want to have sex. And one person says no. Democracy states we should be able to have sex with them. Hmm. Well, nine in ten people enjoy rape. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly that. Exactly. So how is democracy a fair a fair thing? It's a flawed system. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. And that's how I feel about the voice of parliament. Show in. So a lot of the NRL, the AFL, all probably owned by the same people, if we're being honest, like Channel yeah. Nine, Channel yeah. Seven, blah blah blah. Probably all owned by the same people. Yeah. They're all for the yes vote. So the okay. people on that program are being told yeah. to well, you, you can't say no because if you say no you're a racist you're a whatever you're a fucking cunt well jonathan thurston right aboriginal legend rugby league player rapist alleged actual alleged um but he come out and he said like people need to vote yes to give young generation a better opportunity Right or no, a fair opportunity, and people have come out, and I've seen this as well, and they've gone. Literally, Jonathan Thurston, Aboriginal, made himself an opportunity when he was younger without this vote. Yeah. So how can you promote it when you literally done it without having this? Yeah, bro, just saying he's better than everyone else. He's like, oh, but usually. Like, I'm a bit light-skinned. No, because if anything, it's like, well, no, you're literally the perfect example that you don't need the vote to get what you need. Yeah, I get that. It, I, it feels like if everyone was equal, weirdly enough, if everyone became everyone equal, equal, shit might get sorted. Everyone is equal. But if people stop complaining about things and just treat themselves like everyone else is normal, it'd be okay. Weirdly yeah. enough, right? Yeah. It's kind of like everyone's not complaining and just saying, hey, I get the same as everyone else. Yeah. If I start getting government benefits, maybe i got a job. Yeah. might be easier for me. Yeah. Maybe I can get a loan. Yeah. Mm. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? But who knows? Who maybe knows? we'll find out in a few weeks. When is the vote? Um, 14th of October. Speaking of voting, um, I think I brought it up. I got a fine for not <laughs> <Yeah>. voting. <laughs> um, it's only $20, so if you're at home and you don't want to vote, it's only twenty dollars. Yeah, but vote what you feel feel is right or what is wrong. Um, a lot of I I had got a bit of flack from Joey, Joey Honor. Yeah, um, he because I sent a photo. I was like, "Do you have to pay this fine?" Yeah, and Cooper was like, "Yeah, you have to. You didn't vote. You have to. You have to pay the fine." I was like, "Well." Some parking fines you don't have to pay. Yeah, it's well, it's government based. Yeah, okay. So I was like, okay, so yeah, I have to pay this. But then I was like, I'm not gonna. I don't see the point in voting 
because it, whoever they want to get in, they'll get in, regardless. It happened with Donald Trump. Yeah, but it's not a country. Alleged. But it, it, it comes down to like... But we're a copycat. You're supposed to have a say because it's democracy. Yeah, I know, but you know my vote isn't going to change anything. Like I said, if they, whoever they yeah, want to get in... Yeah, but if a million in, other people think the same as you... No, but whoever they want to get in, regardless, is going to get in. You know what I mean? No. If they really want this vote to go ahead, they'll make it go ahead, regardless. No, 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 no. There's there's multiple there's different parties doing both of it. Like it's it's corrupt on both sides, which makes it more uncorrupt. If you know what I mean. Yeah, but I just if don't vote. It's twenty dollars. <laughs> not a bad final, honestly. It's really not. If you don't, if you want to be like, hey, I'm not part of this. Twenty bucks is not a bad price to pay. Yeah. It's not. And then you can also send it back with a an excuse. I might just get my citizenship just so I can vote no real quick. Yeah. No, nah, just well, kidding. I, I put it on my Snapchat and like, a lot of people liked it. A lot of people went fucking crazy about it. Well, I'm going to put it on our story. We're voting no. I'm going to put it on our board and take a photo of it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> if we lose a fan, it's probably worth it, honestly. We might gain a lot more. Yeah, so. I think we'll gain a lot more. Put us on TikTok. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Um... <laughs> And that's not hate speech because voting yes is the same thing as voting no. It's hate speech as well. Did this start at gangs? Yeah, yeah did, I talked yeah. about gang rape, <laughs> yeah. and then just came to the voice because I was like, "Oh, democracy! If that's so right, yeah, so was gang rape. Yeah, uh, is communism." <laughs> I've got sweet. one more thing on the board. Tupac, have you heard? I did hear. I did hear. I heard that Lucy from work. I like, babe, did you hear? They caught him. <laughs> they caught. Well, that's the thing. People are um, misreading the situation. So, so the guy that's been arrested is the person that gave yeah the, the shot the, shot caller. He gave the weapon. Yeah, he gave the weapon. His name is like Chief Keith or something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's something. Bro, Chief Keith spawned in twenty years earlier. Did, did a fucking time crime and it's, came back. It's something Keith, R Keith or something. Uh, Reed, Keith Kelly Reed Keith or something But yeah Keithy boy Keefo um, He Keefos He gave the gun to the killer Yeah And the killer's dead so. Yeah like Everyone that car's dead beside him Yeah So they arrested um, Old mate Who's like 63 Yeah So like um, And then I seen a video of Orlando Brown You know who, who yeah. that is um, yeah. That's a raven No what That's Orlando a raven Brown. Just Corey in the house no, um, you know the guy that went off the rails? Um, Google him up real quick. Yeah. Keep going, keep going. Go Google him. Well, <laughs> so he, if, you, if you don't know who he is, he's an ex-Disney star from That's So Raven, I'm pretty certain. And he's gone off the rails completely. Like, he's just like, he's mentally fucked. Oh, yeah, that motherfucker. And, yeah. And they... Holy shit, he's terrifying these days. Yeah. He's sitting down for an interview. What and the fuck? They go, oh, they've arrested the guy that killed Tupac. And he goes, oh, really? Who? And they say this guy, Keith. And then he goes, he just starts laughing. He's like, they're literally arresting Tupac. That is Tupac. <laughs> and, and, then, and then he's like, if they're going to arrest this man, they're going to have to put him back into Tupac's body and arrest that man. And like, I'm like sitting there going, what? What? what is this guy? Does he? What does he know that we don't? <laughs> and yeah, he's just going on, blabbing on about bullshit. And I'm like, yeah, this guy's on something. He's on some good drugs. He he's, knows some shit. Yeah, I want what he's having. What fucking schizophrenia? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it's just funny. Like, it's, he just starts laughing. Like, it's like, wait, what? And then he's like, I knew it. This is Tupac. <laughs> but yeah, shout out to um. Chief Keith, Chief Keith, or whatever the guy's name is. Um, but yeah, it's like really funny though. Like the way he got caught as well was that like he put in his book, like bragging about it. Yeah, and it's like, like, oh, cool. Well, we just got to do for murder, then get it done. He's like, dude, dude, no, I'm bragging. I'm, I'm oh, memeing. he'll he'll sell books I'm, though. I'm memeing, bro. Guarantee he'll sell books. Yeah, but there's no money going to him. Who cares? He's getting a life sentence. Actual. Yeah. It's probably not that long. People oh, probably get ki- out at 85. People probably kill him in prison. Probably not. That's my boy. You killed yeah. a legend. Bro, I'm still punching stingrays when I go to Seawolf for Steve Irwin, so I don't know what's Fuck. up. Fuck, man. He's still got shooters out there, you know what I mean? But I have to go to Seawolf next week for work. 
Yeah, you did tell me that. Yeah. Do you want to bring that up or? Oh, no? sort of. I guess. Yeah, we got a we got a work conference at SeaWorld next week. It's really cool. Cause Not like, we, because like we don't get business trips because you guys. Yeah, you guys don't pay enough to get business trips. We can't go to South by Southwest this what do you year. Mean we don't pay enough. They don't pay at all. <laughs> yeah, enough would be anything. Honestly, <laughs> we're just digging. Just, just in. pay for Jack, Jackson Petrol to get here, please. <laughs> um, <laughs> and the alcohol. Yeah, that was the first thing actually. We'll call, we'll do it like a Patreon tier list. Yeah, you pay ten bucks a month, you can choose the alcohol. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I get to go to like Sea World for work. Um, it should be great. It should be a lot of fun. Get to dress up spooky. Free drinks. Free drinks. Oh, we're not really. Especially we're supposed to pay. And my boss, like a few months ago, was like, "Oh yeah, you guys should go. It'll be fun as." And we're like, "Fucking gay." <laughs> Fucking gay. I'm not paying for that. Fuck yeah. that shit. Got close to the day. Getting close, closer. Hey, Connor. You and the boys dress up nicely. You're going to this event. Like, fuck yes. Got it for free. Oh, sweet. Eventually, we like, knew we didn't say anything for free. Yeah. Because it's gay, but also now we get two days paid off to go to it. Oh, yeah. That's Monday and Tuesday. Demon time. Legit. Oh. Another long weekend in a row. Yeah. A really long weekend. Literally, we get, the, we get this after this week. It's Friday like Sunday. too. No. <laughs> I get I get the Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I go to this event, do a fucking drinking day. Next day, I start at eight thirty in the morning at another conference until twelve and go home. This is um, and the boys getting fucked up. This is just sort of it's relevant but irrelevant at the same time. I scammed work the other day. Um, so for work so, cover, bro. For some Broke reason, right? Um, I clocked in Thursday morning. Clocked in Thursday morning last week. And Geordie goes, oh, you have to do time card. And I was like, what? We, what about, we've got tomorrow though. And he's like, oh, no, nah, people complain that like, because it gets put on on the Friday and because of the long weekend, our pay comes in on Tuesday morning, that it won't come in Tuesday morning. Yeah. And so we've pre-written what we have do for that day. So finish at two. And then the next day as well, you pre you just write it down. Yeah, and I've written down like I was like, oh yeah, I might. I was gonna work f- fucking eight hours on Friday. I didn't actually write that. I just wrote our normal like five till um, ten. Yeah, five hours. And then Friday morning came around. I was like, I'm not going in. <laughs> <laughs> you going at all? Oh, Are no. you in a four day work? You dirty cunt. Yeah, I literally woke up and was like, nah. So uh, fucking funny. You know what's funny is like my mum. My mum actually asked me, "Is everything okay?" And I was like, "Oh yeah, I'm fine. I just I'm tired. Don't don't want to go in." <laughs> and Craig always hits me with, "Oh no, I'm like, oh it's all good. I'm casual." And he goes, "Oh you're very casual." I'm like, <laughs> "But I'm casual. Like I don't have to go in." Yeah, that's it. You don't get. I can also just get let go, but that's that that's the that's a sword though. That's a double edged sword. Like yeah. they can let you go if you want, but also you have no allegiance. Yeah. And because I've written the hours, I got paid the hours. So, and then um, I told Geordie that, and Geordie's like, "Yeah, fuck him, fuck him. Who cares?" Man, say shit, fuck him. Because it's paid for a half day. That's nice. Yeah, but yeah, got paid. It's like I was full time again. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, you know what's funny is Maz got offered full time a while ago. Maz and Geordie, and they declined it only because they went down to like twenty dollars. And I was like, oh. No $20 you. is actually AIDS though. Oh, it's disgusting. Like that's literal minimum wage. It's disgusting. Can't, and the fact if you, that if they you were still... Taking, that's fair. If you took that, I'd be like, well, I might just go work at fucking Woolworths instead and yeah. do night fill yeah. and have my days to chill out. Mm. Like, literally, because that's the same amount of money. Yeah. And, you get paid by No, well, I'm saying that. Yeah, you actually... Yeah, to be fair though, like, Matt was getting paid so well at Big W. Yeah. You get less hours a week. Like even like say Lucy at Mecca. I, I have a full time job, a full career that I had to do a course for and stuff. I have less of an hourly rate. I make less money a year than my girlfriend does doing retail. Not that retail is shittering like that, but because like you know they have a such a higher base rate. Like holy fuck! Do you get the benefits and stuff? Yeah, yeah. She makes more money than I do. Jesus, technically, but I get bonus, which is the only way I make more money. Yeah, but if okay. I was shit at my job, I wouldn't make fuck all. Yeah. Hmm. Fuck, that's... Yeah, because Cody used to get, like, $26 at Woolworths yeah, when I was working full-time on, like, $23. Yeah, that's this, true. this is when I was, like, 20. I was getting more money at the server than I was at Maritimo. Mm. Like, it's weird, though, because, like, people like act like, oh, are those jobs, like, nothing jobs. You get paid more in doing tradie jobs. You get paid more in scaffolding and shit like that. Mm. It's just you get less hours. That's the difference. Yeah. 
But honestly, if you really don't need the money, your time's worth more. Yeah. Like doing three days a week, doing and you one Saturday shift, bro, visual week right there. Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah, if you work Fuck a it, s- leave everyone leave. Let's go work at Big W. All right, you do it then. Nah. <laughs> I'm not sure good. I might do a Saturday shift with the boys. I'll do a Saturday shift if you get get in there. Well we'll go run my band to a Saturday shift. I'll do a Lucy works anyway. I do fuck all on Saturday day. I'll mm. do it easy, easy seven till like twelve. Yeah, you're like I'm only available Saturday morning. Yeah, and or I Sundays. Can... I'll just get paid so well. Yeah, fuck. See, I have and th- public holidays. I've thought about it, but I'm like, fuck it. Is it that secure though? They don't fire people. Yeah, true. But they yeah, don't. I'll do that. I'll do a fucking Saturday at like a bar or something like that. You know, just doing like you know like early morning to afternoon shit. I don't think bars are open at that time. Oh, yeah, no, the bars like I do, mate. Just become a barista. Yeah, I saw a barista getting paid like one hundred and ten thousand a year in Melbourne. What the fuck is that? The same haircut, cunt? Like, <laughs> yeah, he does. Always come for my. Always come for my coffees. They're seventeen dollars a coffee. He's probably only making like ten k a year because like he probably has fuck <laughs> all customers. That one customer. That's just one a customer retard. that comes every week and he gets broke. <laughs> two hundred dollars for fifty two weeks. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. My drink, eh? Um, <coughs> Power. Power. All right. So at the moment, um, me and Lucy are watching through Power, the TV show. Have you seen it? It's on Stan. 50 Cent? Yeah. 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 Really cool. Really fun show. I haven't um, watched it, but I've heard about it. It's good. I just start watching it. It's one of those shows. It's kind of like an HBO show. It's by Stars, which did like Spartacus and shit like that. A lot of sex. A lot of random sex that shouldn't be in the show. Doesn't need to have it. There's a lot of sex scenes. And like... What I realized, what I love about my missus, Lucy, um, she's just like me when it comes to sex scenes. Like it, like we're not, we're not like that when it comes to like watching yeah. shows, like watching movies. Like, damn, that's sexy as fuck. We're more like, it's like watch with your nan or something. Yeah, you're like, like, look around the room. Wow, you're like, like, that's a really weird song. This is really long. Like that's a long video. Like, yeah, damn, her nipples are very black. <laughs> like shit, like that. Like, hmm, that's a BBL. And we're just sitting there like making jokes to each other, trying to like pass the awkwardness. And it's like, they're like these scenes like half a minute, like no, not even that, like a minute and a half long. And like, it's like full thrusting and shit. And we're just like, hmm. Like, we just watch porn if we want to watch porn. Like, wow, the floor is very floory. Yeah. It's like, damn. Damn. Is, is, that, is that Chris Brown in the background? Like, I, I don't know. <laughs> wow, look Whoa, at that scar he's got on his drapes. Back. Wow, do you reckon that, do you reckon that tattoo's real? Like, <laughs> and it's like shit like that. It's the most awkward shit. Yeah. But, um, and because of the show, right, there's a lot of sex in it, a lot of promiscuity. Um, the main characters cheer on each other. And me and Lucy, right, we had a conversation about it. We both took very opposite points. Okay. And we had literally, it became a, a cheating a cheating chat <laughs> about these couple that we've never met in our real lives that aren't real people. <laughs> and it was us at Ian's. It was like a friend of, a friends of ours just cheering each other. Like, no, yeah. no, he's in the wrong. No, she's in the wrong. Yeah, okay. And we had like an actual <laughs> argument this morning about this. Hey, Luz. It became like an actual fight about like she was like no 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 I'm like well not even a real that, couple yeah legit like and we're actually fighting about this fucking fake couple on a TV show that is it's so retarded and the situation is so dumb as well it doesn't make any sense and we're just like fighting over it and it ended with like oh, fuck like this doesn't even exist this doesn't fucking exist I'm sorry babe love you <laughs> love you too like, like oh yes you have to get where I'm coming from like oh you don't get where I'm coming I'll start again like <laughs> <laughs> Literally the biggest fucking fight. And like I it may have been probably in our top five fights ever. And it's yeah. over a TV show. <laughs> not even real. Literally not even real. Fuck. And I was like, if that's how you feel about this, I don't know how you feel about your morals. Like shit like that. <laughs> like a fully like a massive fight and I love it. Like I mean I love it because if you've but seen you power so this, I'll pull it from my view. So let's say there's two characters, right? There's Tasha and Ghost. They're both niggas. Um, Why? Why? <laughs> you said they were ghetto. I was just paraphrasing what you said. They're both ghetto, so they're like hood and shit. Um, so let's say how it goes, right? I'll just go from the start. So they're, they're married. They're in a nightclub. Ghost won't fuck his missus. He's got PTSD. He's a drug dealer. He's like, oh, I can't do it. And then he meets, he's at the pub, at his club. He owns a nightclub. Uh, runs to a girl new from high school, he's a date. His wife's nervous. He sees her. Okay. He doesn't need to explain it all. All, if you've seen Power, she was all, if you've seen Power, all I want to know is 
Who was in the wrong at first? Was it Tasha or was it Ghost? It was fucking Ghost. Cheating little whore. All right, um, that's that's a that's a prelude to her podcast. See, I don't know the context though. Yeah, because I, I was trying to explain she pulled okay. it off me. <laughs> um, it's like Clint all over again. <laughs> um, um, shout to you, Dad. Um, but yeah, so bro, so this chick comes to the club. He's dated her in high school. Fucked him when he was fifteen. First root kind of shit. First nut. Um, goes, damn, I can't let you get away from me. Give me your number. I'll catch you later on. His wife sees it and is like, who is that? She has no idea who it was, though. Mm. So she doesn't know he's cheating on her. She just knows his, his no, husband's not... Like, Shut up. You. She just knows his husband's not fucking her yet. Let me explain it. can talk. And then what she does, she goes back that night and goes, damn, driver of the car. Mmm, pussy mighty hungry. I'm going to rub, pull my underpart and play with my pussy in the back of the car and let you watch me while I'm driving home. Before she even knew her husband was cheating. Who cheated first? And then he ends up fucking this chicken, getting with her and breaking up with his wife. But... In my opinion, she cheered first, so she's a stupid whore, not him. Mm. He emotionally cheered, but she physically cheered, and which is worse? Do you? But how do you not know if it was at the exact same time? No, you watch the show happen. Okay. She cheats first. She's like rubbing a pussy in front of this guy, and like that's cheating. So in my mind, I was like, yeah, he's a piece of shit still. But, but where's still the husband at this time? Doing his job, paying for her lifestyle. No, you know what he did. He sent her home with the driver so he could stay in the clubs with this fucking Angie bitch. But his high school before, girlfriend. He didn't sleep with her like three episodes later, but she was a re- he was a re- she was a re- rubbing a pussy for the driver in first. So she's a lying slut that cheated first. Mm. And this is why we're fighting. Now I'm not going to get you pussy tonight. Thanks, Angie. Thanks, Tasha. <laughs> yeah, see, I... If I do get some, I'll put on the Snapchat for the boys. Just kidding. See, I don't record anymore. Any more Alos? <laughs> if I'm that chick, though, like if you're in that situation and like Lucy goes, oh, don't worry about it. I'm going to send you home, though. Would you not Would you not think that she's in the wrong? Yeah, but the thing is like... But yeah, I get what you're so saying. So the, the way I see it is like at that moment, she had no idea who that woman was. Yeah. She had no idea about any of it. And her first thought is, I'm going to cheat on my husband. Her first thought is she. I'm gonna cheer my husband. Mm, yeah, and that that and a wife. Yeah, she cheated. Imagine, and that's why I came back to the whole morality thing of it. Like I was like with Lucy, this has become a therapy session. I was like, well, if that's how you think, wow. As soon as I go, hey, here's, here's a girlfriend of mine. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you about her. She's gonna go fuck one of my friends <laughs> because in her mind, that's okay to do. That's what you should do to it. And I'll say the same thing to her. I was like, oh well, if if you know. If I wasn't getting any pussy, if you weren't fucking me, I should go cheat on you because that's what you said is okay. <laughs> you, oh, you chat to one of your male mates? Oh, I guess I go fuck some bitch then. Like, and that, that, that's the implication. So this fake scenario has become a life lesson. So everyone watch Power with your partner if you've got a partner and fight about it. See what happens. So I feel every girl will take the girl's side and every girl will take the guy's side. Yeah, I'm, on, I'm like a bit, on, I'm a bit on the fence. You've got to watch it. Yeah, because she's worse at the start, but when you watch it more, he's tearing way worse. Well, from like I said, from what you've said, what you guys have both said, actually, is if I'm her, I'm going, oh, what the fuck? Like, who is this chick? Okay, he's just sent me home. But then I get what you're saying. She's, she didn't even question she, him. She just started cheating. Yeah, she just started cheating. Yeah, so she's in the wrong. Yeah, literally, literally. Can you imagine if, like, you say, let's say you're missing the club and some girl goes, hey, man, how you been? Like, oh, I could see you. Like, you were friends in primary school. Yeah. And she walks away and you're like, oh, nothing, because it didn't really matter. Yeah. And your girlfriend goes, all right, I'm going to go home and just fuck your mate. <laughs> and you're like, oh, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, even if it turns out you did such a thing with that girl afterwards and you did you have a relationship with her, she didn't know at that point. So yeah. she's terrible. You can't, like, preempt it. It's like being like, yes, I knew my girlfriend was cheating me. I cheated on her way before. Got you. You played my trap card. Yeah. You're still a terrible person. Doesn't make you better for cheating on first. Like, yeah. oh, I knew you got to cheat me, so I cheated on you first. It's still terrible. Mm, that's really bad. And you're that. <laughs> what Lucy said, they're ghetto, so what do you expect? Yeah. You did? You didn't say the other word, though. I made that one myself. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, I think that's us. Yeah, well, I've got one last thing to say. Um, Connor and I made that pact last week, and then we. 
started off really badly by having that weekend. Yeah. I ate so much fucking junk food. I haven't been to the gym since. Yeah. I'm going tomorrow morning to make up for well, it. Well, that's the thing. I My plan was to wake up Monday morning and go to the gym like around nine. Yeah. And I just woke up and like I said, I was like not – the right headspace, and I was like, nah. Yeah, that's how I felt all week, eh? Hey? Yeah. Just, just dead, like, just not into I also it. forgot to turn off my alarm. Yeah. So I was up at, like, four. I was like, <laughs> oh, yeah, sick. Turned it off. I think I got back to sleep till, like, 6.30, but I was like, what the fuck, man? But, yeah, we started off by, yeah, a weekend full of alcohol and shit food. Yeah, literally junk. Just feeling it disgusting. My new but- Sharks Club, by the way, I forgot to mention this earlier. Christian went up and ordered pizza. It took five minutes. Yeah. Connor ordered some wedges with like bacon and cheese. Yeah. I ordered um, chips and gravy with some cheesy garlic bread. Uh, it took like 30 minutes. Like half an hour. Um, Bro, just, got a, like Jack got a palmy in 10 minutes. Me? No, Jack got a palmy oh. in 10 minutes with chips. Oh, yes. Yeah. And our literal chips took half an hour. Yeah. And um, yeah, your portion was... So small. It was retarded, man. How much was it? Like twelve fifty. Twelve fifty, and it was like a little basket. Yeah, the tiniest of little basket. fries. There was probably like ten in there. Yeah, fuck all. Ten, and just like it looked good, but it's like oh, it's not worth twelve. Bro, man, just sharing that shit. You're like, oh, one each. Well, it was two birria spring rolls. There was like twelve fifty. I was like, what? Yeah, that doesn't make sense. No, it's fucking retarded, man. Fuck the sharks food. Unless you're going to um. Even uh, even the buffet is still expensive though. It's like, it's like 40 70, 40 45 it's like 70 though. bucks now. Yeah. Oh, 45? It's like $45. That's not if too you remember, bad, honestly. It's 44. <laughs> yeah. Nah, I think it's like 40. But still... 40 is pretty good, honestly. It's, it's, but I don't think If you go in there at 6 p.m. and then have a second meal at like 9, you're pretty... It's pretty days. But it's like... The food is so basic there. Yeah, you get like a curry with rice, roasts, like nuggets and shit. The like, best buffet I've ever been to, right, is the Star. Have you been there? No, I haven't to buffet. So I haven't actually ate food at the Star before. I think it's I cool. I think I ate some random tape, people's food over the table one time when we were on acid. Yeah. That was one I time. I do remember that. Yeah. But the Harvest, <laughs> I think it's called the Harvest Cafe or something yeah. at the Star. And um, I've never done the dinner. I sort of want to because they have like really gourmet shit that you yeah. can get. But I've only done the breakfast. So the breakfast is like... I think $40 is well. It's genuine Bix buffet. That's cool. Um, but it's you have eggs however you want them pretty much. Yeah. Bacon, blah, blah, blah. The whole shebang. Then yeah. there's like an omelette station. Yeah. It's like 40 bucks. Fuck yeah. And like there's a whole dessert pancake station, whatever. But the dinner's like 100 bucks, And then I think on like a Saturday, it's like 150 Yeah. Fuck but like that's... you can get kill... Oysters, Kilpatrick and shit. Yeah. Oysters, Kilpatrick. Yeah. But you can get as many as you want. Yeah. I'm pretty sure if you get like a dozen of them, isn't it? Like fucking like Yeah, it would be up there. in itself. Yeah, you if you're eating like really gourmet shit, but see for me, like I'm not gourmet. No. Like we wouldn't had a gourmet dinner on Friday night. I paid how much did I pay for sushi me, babe? I paid twenty six dollars for two sushi rolls. We're just salmon in a circle like this. This big. What the fuck? Then um one of the boys paid fifty bucks a steak. I paid what I pay thirty five dollars for a Caesar salad. What the fuck? It was alright. See, I'm a basic person. It was mid when it comes to food. Same. Like, I wouldn't like, pay 100 bucks for dinner anywhere. Like, yeah, I'm I'm really basic. With, like at a buffet, right? If I'm going to a buffet, my thoughts are always, I'm eating shit, so I'm not going to eat anything healthy. Yeah, legit. I just don't see a point in it. If you're already eating shit. Yeah, legit. If I'm going to a buffet, I'm getting like the pizza, some roast. You know, yeah. roasting some gravy. Yeah, and then some they've, got, yeah. they've got, um, you know, chips and nuggies and shit and getting all that sort yeah. of stuff. And then getting some ice cream later. Like, Yeah, you just got to gorge yourself. And if it's I go like to the Roman days, if you I know. go to a pub, I'm getting a pizza or I'm getting a palmy. Yeah, I'm already drinking. The one thing I realized, like, last time I went to the um, Sharks Club for a, a fucking um, buffet dinner, me and Dad just got on the drinks really hard. And just beers. I couldn't eat. I had like one plate. I was like, dude, what was the point of that? I'm just fucking full. Like, if you're gonna if you're gonna eat, don't drink. Yeah. Yeah. Or just drink afterwards. Yeah. Eat, then drink. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's no point it's in hard wasting for you money. And you're dead. <laughs> yeah, legit. Legit. We we go there for a fucking drink. Um with that anyway. Yeah, that'll be That'll us. be it. That'll be us. Until next time, cunts. 
I saw, are we changing the filming set schedule next week? Yeah, from Monday onwards. Yeah. This doesn't affect you yeah. guys at all because episodes still come out on yeah. Friday. But yeah. We'll do it on Mondays. Mondays. Yeah. All right. Um, catch you all. See you guys on the next one. Good night.